<laughs> you know what it is. It's the all new rollout show right here on Morris Media. It's your boy Speed Doggy Dog in the building. Are we even streaming yet? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Rehearsal. Uh, Shout out to I did my too. cue. I said it's the all new rollout show with Speedy and Prince. Oh. I'm being Speedy and oh, you I, are. The Poetess. What's up? It's your boy Kente, a.k.a. New Dude. Nikki Pam. Um, these headphones sound so good. You oh got excited. Oh, Five said. finger headphones. Yeah. Yeah. She's snatching she, them around. She throws something. She's like, ring, 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 ring. <laughs> she put them in her purse. The wire was still hanging out. <laughs> go, go, go. Uh, oh Pam, God. yes. I didn't take nothing. <laughs> they just stepped on a wire and called her. How you catch me so fast? <laughs> Is this your cord? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> they go, have, to, they the, go to something else. Yeah. <laughs> Mind your business. These don't go to headphones. You just <laughs> right. tell yourself. Uh, it's the Roll Out Show right here. It's Wednesday kind of morning here. It's morning, 10 o'clock. It's still morning time. Yeah. yeah Depending on where morning. you are. If you're on the East Coast, get your motherfucking ass up. Nigga, you lazy if as fuck. If you're on the East Coast, good afternoon. If you're on the East Coast, hey, Queens. <laughs> 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 you're blushing. Why are you blushing? Um. I'm going to play a message you left. Uh -oh. oh, my oh God. Boy. Any updates? I do like So you. what's the update? Can we get an update? Um, There's no update. Yeah. He ain't asked you about Can another group from best? Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. Do you know the five and three, five, seven? <laughs> <laughs> do you know the five? I really <laughs> want to say what it was, but I'm not. He trying, no, he's just trying to find something. Five and three, five, seven. He just, because you don't know that. You, no. <laughs> you think one's named five, yeah. one named three. Exactly. Oh, the middle one, five. You know? Yeah, I, I, I've seen her on some shows and shit. You know, I know she's from uh, your part of town. Yeah. Uh, from, your neck of, from your neck of woods. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I... And this part is... Uh, that... <sighs> <laughs> You mean the girl in the group three five seven? <laughs> yeah, that's what her name. The one in the Ain't middle. nobody named five. B N G B. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know that bitch. Just because yeah. she lived around the corner from me. I mean, I know her. <laughs> Tell you again, everybody in Oakland don't know everybody in Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> Just because they hella singing and rapping. <laughs> you gotta throw that hella in But that three, she hella cool. That's an Oakland, Oakland thing. thing. Yes. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Where you, if you hear a motherfucker say hella, they from Oakland. Or they been to Oakland. Yeah. I came down to UCLA. I said, man, this school hella large. They was like, nigga, where you from? <laughs> <laughs> and if you're from L.A., where it's like, uh, go get in the core. Yeah. That's how she yeah. Go get in the core. Or Hawthorne. You got to say Hawthorne. Yeah, yeah, we say Hawthorne. We're going to say Hawthorne. We put it's extra Hawthorne. R's on yeah. it. Uh-huh. Get in the core. In the core? Uh, well, shit. Anyway, <laughs> glad you have you with us. Uh, we appreciate the fact you took your time to listen to our raggedy ass with no DJ. Uh, oh, I, just people ask me, the DJ going through some things. <laughs> DJ been <laughs> dead. DJ. I ain't say what it was. I said he's going through. He's struggling. He, he, he struggling. lost one of his needles to his turntables. And, <laughs> and it's been bad ever since. It's been bad ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you lose Literally. a needle. That's all you got. Literally. You a DJ. So we are looking for a DJ if anybody's yeah. out there. Shout out. You're in the LA area. <laughs> 10 to 1. Right. You can show you up at no about 9.30. <laughs> you got to have no job. Your only am am ambitions have to be us. Right. <laughs> You can work Being at night. around us. You can yep. work at like FedEx at night, but you got to be able to wake up at 9 and have your ass here at 9.30. <laughs> Can't pick you up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> or it's going to be on your ass. Don't yeah. come be here on with time. Be on time. You got to be a thick-skinned DJ. You can't be no little punk-ass new DJ. <laughs> right. You need to have picked up some crates before in your life. <laughs> Not these motherfuckers with the yeah. iPad in the backpack. Yeah, don't come in here with an iPad going, y'all ready? Yeah. Why she mad at me? <laughs> That's poor that's good now. <laughs> that's you. That means she loves you. That means she, <laughs> right. she ain't mad at you. It's a problem. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> she, she'll kick your monkey ass right out this motherfucker. <laughs> Kick rock, and she always tell me first. Speed, let me talk to you. I had to put that nigga out. <laughs> the DJ, he fuck him. No, he no, I no didn't Oakland. say no. He don't I know no Oakland tunes. I'm not saying DJ. He What's asking me who the five and three five seven is. <laughs> <laughs> I cue him. He stare at me. Mm -mm, okay. <laughs> so again, we are looking for a DJ, thick skin. Thick skin. Well, by Friday, we'll have music in here, DJ or not. So. Yeah, no, I want to DJ. I mean, I want a DJ, too, but I like to see it's a you... commitment. It is. Until this show starts generating income, Pause, we it's a commitment. Yeah, they ain't supposed to know all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are, because they can donate, they can buy a T-shirt, they can buy a mug. We got some mugs now. Oh, we got yeah. mugs? Uh -huh. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, never. I thought that was our mug. mug. Now I got to sell my mug. This that bug. <laughs> <Right. laughs> they wrote my name on my Whatever we can to get the license. I wrote Speedy on the bottom of my You bought it now. That's your mug. If you get a mug that say Speedy, that's. I signed that. I signed $35. He drank out of it. Speedy autographing mug. This nigga Prince. Just X. That's Speedy autograph right there. <laughs> yeah, and also too, uh, we got us. We're gonna start our softball league. Oh, When's wow. that? Okay. So, uh, Pam and uh, whatever. Portis, I'm um, bringing. I'm bringing snacks. Good people yeah, this just year. no. You Portis gonna want to kind of play. Uh, she want to eat the sunflower seeds. All oh, that's all she gonna do. And then then she'll get bad if she don't get in. So I can't hit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paul, I was man. going to the batting cage practicing. And Were you? Yeah. And here's the shit though. The pressure. When though. it's time for the women to hit, uh-huh. it's it's bases loaded. Oh yeah. Bottom of it. Uh, <laughs> that was we always need me. these yeah. runs. That was who's always up? Me. And we were like, who's up, Paul, this. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody start grabbing the equipment. <laughs> That's wrong. was like, really? Yeah, really. It, 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 you ain't, it's, it's it's going to be like, Pam. It ain't going Pam. out the infield. I said, don't swing. I'm oh, like, yeah, so, oh, my God. So, so we like, don't swing. <laughs> Paul is like, so I can't swing as he eats up. I can't swing <laughs> at the ball. Just, just walk. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, that motherfucking ball must look juicy as fuck because she's swinging. They go, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> she be running, look, well, her titties be <laughs> hitting all in the phone. Motherfucker be taking the ball, throwing it up in the air, and then he grab it again, and he threw it. You're out. Game over. I One thing I do, I hit the ball. Mm-hmm. You were good I can to hit the, the ball. You, you contact the Make ball. sure we put that in to the picture. <laughs> um, Kente, until I see you. Oh, play. here you right. go. I don't want to hear it. Look here. Yeah. I can play softball. So, what day is it on say. Saturday, next Saturday? Next Saturday, we're playing. We're looking for real ball play. I have and, and here's two the thing coming. About black folks in sports. Oh, nigga, I play. Nigga ain't played since he was three. Right. That's so, true. so you go around the bases, really, nigga? I thought you going counterclockwise. Yeah. <laughs> Third, second, first. That's how we used to play back in. Oh, we nigga. we had one light skinned nigga that played with us. This motherfucker was extra, extra, extra. Who was it? Uh, he, he used to work for us. And, uh, he was intern. Bizzle. No. <laughs> Hilarious. No, the dude that came never been light skinned with his gloves <laughs> cut. You know Bizzle? Yeah. Oh, you talking no about? No way. Uh, yeah, no Bizzle. <laughs> when, when he sunny? said when he said sunny, he yeah. ain't never been light skinned I said you know anyway who yeah uh, sunny. Sunny. sunny 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 yeah. we need coolest to get Sunny coolest dude back. in the world he had his gloves very clean. sensitive he had some plain gloves and he had cut the fingers off he sure did he came and, and uh, TDP said nigga are you in flash dance <laughs> <laughs> Watch your thumbs out. <laughs> What's wrong with cutting the fingers off? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about doing that to my gloves. You're not you supposed girl, to do it? It's okay, because you oh. might have to yeah, use your to phone. No guys. batting gloves. You no may have to use your out. phone on the field, but no reason for a man to have his fingers out in batting gloves. <laughs> batting gloves. Um, They're batting gloves. Speedy bought me some batting gloves and some cleats. Oh, yeah. he did? Yeah. Well, they were size three at Marshall's. And they <laughs> oh, really? Five dollars. Yeah, five dollars. Four dollars. Yeah, five dollars at Marshall's. Got the, got the Mizunos. I made it look like it was, I got some cleats. She's like, because she was playing in her chucks and fucking them up. I'm uh, like, I, I got some shoes for you. Hilarious. What size should you wear? Three in boys. Five. <laughs> five. Damn. <laughs> that is cute, though. You Yosemite Sam for you. Hilarious. <laughs> So if you could actually play, hit us up in our uh, chat room. Chat room. Chat, chat room. room. The, the, the rollout chat room. Yeah. If you're approved, or you can email us too yeah. at contact at Morris Media Studios. That's if you're in LA, and, Don't and be trust me, we will clown you if you Oof. can't. You'll stay on the team because we need people to clown. <laughs> right. But yeah, I can actually play. Speedy, yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna, yeah. That's your get down. Though. I played ball last night. Played softball last night? No, but I was, nigga, I'm getting ready for Saturday. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm oh, getting ready yeah. for Saturday. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Tell us about that Saturday. Yeah. So uh, this Saturday, uh, we're doing the – and I just, I just found out that uh, Mark Jackson is going to be there. Mar- oh, Coach Mark Jackson? Coach Mark Jackson. That's my dude. There. Hopefully he gets another job. Uh, it's a celebrity game uh, this Saturday at between 1 and 4 in uh, Compton at Compton Community uh, Center, a.k.a. El Camino College. Yes, El Camino College, Compton <laughs> campus yeah you know don't yeah. be on with that kind of weird i know uh, i was like because yeah. that's something like because they changed the name because they said Compton college wasn't attracting oh they said el camino, <laughs> the el camino, el camino, camino college. college 
Compton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it kind of fools you a little bit. But uh, it's celebr- it will be celebrities and not friends of celebrities. Sometimes mm-hmm. they do. Uh, yeah. Who is it? Right. Well, he know. Uh, Jamie. Jamie Foxx. <clears throat> but I actually know him, so. Part <laughs> 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 <Or> my meme. <laughs> 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 but can me and poetess come? Are we on the list? Yeah, y- y'all good. We're on the list for yeah. Saturday. We we, okay. we we wearing team shirts. Oh, okay, we wearing shirts. Oh, we, this we Saturday, one. you got the one with the cleavage, right? No, I, I don't know, know if I'm. You got some scissors though. Cut that. Shit. You don't know what? I don't know if I'm coming after work. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just got Because I thought I was gonna ride with you, but guess <laughs> <laughs> apparently not. And, and unless I ride with you, my car is on its last leg. Okay, I mean I'll swoop you, but okay. You know. And we're we're going out to movie night tonight. Movie I'm night. so excited. Wait, can we just say Kente thought that we didn't were good enough? Like, no, that's not what I, I said. Bring, okay, wait, wait, wait. So we're going to the screening mm-hmm. of the Straight Out of Compton tonight. And and I said, who? I said, can you bring a date? But that's why I asked. Cause What's his name? name? Nigga, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, you ain't going to get no ass on my account. This nigga, no, that's not what you <laughs> exactly. said. You was like, if I was going to have niggas come, I'd bring my nigga before you could bring right. any bitches. Right. That's right. Exactly. And I was trying to bring my daughter. That's why I asked. Oh, oh, I'm going to I feel bad. Oh, I'm glad she said that. I'm going to say, what bitch you going to bring? Yeah. <laughs> right. I, I, I caught myself. The bitch that I born? <laughs> <laughs> why Why you have to say date? Just say, can I bring my daughter? Right. Because I was. it was an opening question. And y'all niggas jumped on it like, motherfucker, we ain't good enough for you. Fuck you. Stay your fucking well, ass on exactly Pam to sit there. Your shit is revoked, nigga. Your ticket is revoked. I think Pam wants you to hit because you are that young, <laughs> no. inspiring motherfucker. I got a suit and tie. I got a suit and tie. I, got a suit and tie. I don't have a shirt with me. She can make on. you a thug. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> She'll give you a reason to beat her up. I try. You try to I leave. So you're trying to do some real shit with your fucked up life. <laughs> okay, I love you. <laughs> there you go. Let's smoke crack. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander O'Neill pop out. Nigga, what you doing? You here smoking my crack? Because <laughs> I am crack. I am crack. <laughs> Can I just tell you, that was the funniest thing I'd ever heard. What? That I actually sent it to Jerome. Oh, yeah. I had to. I I had had to. Did he laugh? When, is Jerome going to come by? Yeah, he says he is. Yeah. yeah. He, he, yeah, lives, he, he lives close. He's I mean, right up the street. I yeah, know, right? Yeah, right here he in, says Com- he is. in uh, LA Hills. He's like, y'all wrong. LA Hills. <laughs> LA, right. He called the LA Hills. 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 LA Hills. LA Hills. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if a drone come, it'd be off the chain. I met him. Oh, you did win? Uh, at, uh, I opened for the time. Well, oh, you they, did? They're they performing Mars. here yeah. again. Not yeah. Jerome. Not Jerome. Not Best Jerome. believe. He don't make time. The, the uh, time? Jerome Morris makes Day it. makes no. the time. No. Put it this way. No. Morris no. Day. No. If there's no Morris Day, there's no time. Have you I seen agree. Morris Day without the time? With it's Morris not Day great. In them? It's, and the fake it's, Jerome. They have yeah, a fake Jerome. It's Bootsy. Yeah. I said Bootsy, but, but I did. it was weird because when I met him, well, I guess it was that beginning of that separation thing because he was there, but he wasn't on stage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Jerome was it? Yeah, he was backstage. Hey, hilarious. Like, and the audience doing all the dance moves? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> got a hold, mirror? I'm going to hold the mirror up out here, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> got a little compact mirror? How you get fired from holding the mirror? <laughs> exactly. You must have dropped it one good time. Who, who came to you and said, hey, uh, it ain't cool no more? <laughs> to hold the mirror? I'm, I'm going to need that mirror back yeah, from you, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let the mirror go with the group, player. You got to start wearing your outfits to look, make you look like the time. I used to live next door to him. Who? To Jerome? Jerome. Oh, really? Yeah, right over oh, there. Oh, And I was like, I came out one time, he was watching his car. I was like, oh, look at that Jerome big time. <laughs> <laughs> Whose car you watching? I was like, I, and, I, and before I said anything, I was like, Jesse, not nah, Jerome. <laughs> Wait, I think I, I like, who was it? Was it Jerome? He knows who Poetus is for sure. I was out in front of a club. Were you? I, I was with you. You were with we went me. To the, but I think you hadn't come yet because you would have said something. Right. But he was going off on somebody in front mm-hmm. of a club one night. I remember. I remember. Another black. So, uh, so why uh, did he, Taxi driver. Why something. did they. Why, how do you replace Oh, he was going off more, on a uh, how black car. Jerome. Um, well, I mean, why do you play with Jerome? Well, it's not like, well, there was some egos going on. But and he's holding a mirror. No, but Jerome was actually <laughs> the um, uh, choreographer for the group. You think so? <laughs> he taught him chili sauce. You better stuff. do something else. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do so, chili sauce. We're going to do one, two, three, slide to the right. Slide to the right. <laughs> one, two, three, slide to the left. How are you going to do that with the he mirror? He could have been the um, stylist. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It could have been, but um, it was just some ego stuff and money. But again, and he's 
holding mirrors and teaching you to slide. <laughs> it's a stylist. He was like, we're going to go to Men's Land and Fox Hills Mall. Buy that bitch out. How much money can you not split with him? He ain't write a song. He played them in Watch Guns a couple of times and hit it and spin around. Yeah. He does that a couple of times. But at the end of the day, how you don't have a check for Jerome? Right. <laughs> how, at what point do you go... We need to do some cutbacks. Yeah, you know, they cut, <laughs> they cut the fat. They like, the mirror man yeah. is the first to yeah, go. The well, mirror man the first All right, one. so we got rid of the nigga that do the team. We got rid of him. <laughs> yeah. like, we need Jesse because he played a good dog. We need him for real. But dude play tambourine. He gone. Yeah, no. Tambourine gone. <laughs> Shit. The triangle nigga gone. All right, so it's, it's, it's the drummer. We got we, we need gotta make one. We it's need like, Jelly Bean. It's, look, it's like the NFL. You got to make one more cut to make it so on it's, the 53-man roster. We keep the drummer. Keep, gotta keep the drum. Keep the dude with the guitar. Yeah, it's synthesizer yeah. man. Yeah. He's he's we need him. White dude. He white. Yeah, he white. Keep him. Monty uh, Moyer. Uh, we gotta. Oh, gotta keep uh, the lead. Yeah, gotta keep the lead. lead. Yeah, yeah. we need <sighs> nigga to know all the words. <laughs> so we need a nigga so, to know all so the words. So Jerome's here. How much Jerome making? Jerome making good God. money. He making that much? <laughs> <laughs> he making that much for holding the mirror? Hold on, didn't he? Then we fix this. Uh, yeah. So we cut Jerome. <laughs> And then we just split here. <laughs> Are you going to tell him? I'm, uh, <laughs> laughing at You know what we going to do? You, you oh, tell him. I'm going to tell him. You going to tell him? I'm going to tell him, but you, you got to take the mirror. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the I'll, I'll go, take I'll go in the dressing room and move the, the mirror, mirror. now. Yeah, because then he's going to come to me and be like, hey, man, where's my mirror? mirror? We go on in 10, 20 minutes. All right. And I'm going to be like, ah, I got something to tell you. And then you get asked about <laughs> Yeah. Like, ah, some cutbacks we had to make. Ah, I'm going to need your playbook and <laughs> one drumstick. <laughs> I love you, Jerome. I have nothing to do with this. Who hold the mirror? Uh, yeah. my, my Morris boy. said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. He got it on his phone. He got a compact. He got a compact. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at poets. I'm really not. But how do you cut Jerome? <laughs> like, this nigga don't do shit but hold a mirror. But here's what we got for you. We got two well, well, I'll I'll get get him when he comes on. I'm getting nervous. I'm like, who we, got, we got two free tickets to the next show. You can, they in the third row. You can sit in the front. And you can do all the dance moves. Because cause I'm, I'm doing the show with, with uh, the time. Mm -hmm. And Morris is, on, I mean, uh, Jerome on the side. And I was like, mm -hmm. Jerome, he had a son with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, well, why are you in a uniform, nigga? <laughs> in <laughs> uniform? You ain't got your zoo suit on. <laughs> Niggas wear the pleats with the <laughs> they, do. they do. The that, boots. That ever present crease in their Steve Harvey their suit before Steve Harvey. Yeah. No, no, no. These weren't that. No, bro. they had full zoot suits. Minus the keychain. Well, that was, that was Jesse had the zoot, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, because Jesse shit had the, went up to his uh, Yeah, he did. He had the chain. Yeah, yeah, he had, the, he had his jerry curl stain on the back of the collar. Yeah. yeah. All up, yo, that's Jesse's that clothes right there. But we love you, Drew. I'm just, we, we just do. trying to figure out how you got I mean, there's a lot of niggas. I ought to cut Brown Mark before I cut him. <laughs> that, would be, that would be the revolution. Yeah. <laughs> but Same okay. thing. I ought to cut that nigga first. We, how you get to... When you get to Jerome, nigga, it's, it's money problems, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I know he came in. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, he's been in the studio for every album. And then everybody sitting there going, so why Jerome? Hey, man, we had to make some cuts. Yeah. <laughs> So you know when they cut the mirror, nigga, it's it's you got to be like this, nigga. The recession hit everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so you know the nigga in the drum said like you cut Jerome. <laughs> it was just got real. And you he, was, he started this shit. Yeah. He said let's do a mirror. Everybody said cool. He that sacrificial lamb. Get it, everybody everybody said cool. Up. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, he's the one that said you should do C O O L. What's that <laughs> spell? He the only one knew what it spell. <laughs> cool. Uh, How you cut Jerome? Oh, Lord. <laughs> but, you, know, you know the first three concerts when they were spelling out one, one nigga had a glory tear. C O O L. What's that? Like spell? the five heartbeats. Yeah. <laughs> that's like cutting. That's like coming to Zoom going. We gotta make some cuts, nigga. <laughs> What we gonna cut? <clears throat> Get rid of these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> these keys gotta go. It don't cuts? make no sense to cut Jerome, nigga. He just the nigga that go. <laughs> Jerome. That's it. He always was happy. How you never, just, Jerome never had a bad day. He, he couldn't he have never, been on. There's no way he was on a contract. There's no way nigga said, and uh, need to sign here, no, Jerome. He was on full per diem. <laughs> what, what you doing Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of August 26, 27, There's 28, no way he was under contract that you had to go. Uh, <laughs> Jerome was on the phone call. <laughs> You ain't answer the phone, nigga. You know, one good time you answer the phone, he cut. Now, this nigga think you do big. You don't want to answer his goddamn phone. There's no way he was under contract with who? Prince? Come on, man. Stop that. Is he, was he, um. No. Is he from Minneapolis? No. With everybody yes. else? Yes, he's Terry Lewis's brother. Oh. How you cut your own? <laughs> he's Terry Lewis' brother. You know, they called Terry first. They're like, hey, Terry, hey, um. 
<laughs> we gotta make some cuts. <laughs> Shit. The recession hitting everybody. Yes. Uh, the nigga that, that hold the mirror? Your, yeah. your brother? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you mean, nigga, my brother? Damn, man. Shit. Nigga. Nigga, we ain't wanted it. I'm ready. Let me see. I can't see. They got a meme. That chat room game. Shout out to oh. Chuck Farmer. That chat room game. You got your own face on, too. <laughs> Y'all cut- niggas is my hero for that. I'm sorry. You cut- I'm gonna <laughs> save that right now. Chuck, you are a Chuck, beast. I love you. Go to the real. rollout Shut chat up, room. Chuck, Chuck uh, made the funniest meme ever. And, and, Where and is this? I know Jerome's gonna come. He really gotta come now. <laughs> oh come Lord! Now. But how, it's no way he was like signed to the label or he nigga. Was. You just had to be there. <laughs> <laughs> All you had no suitcase, nigga. You had a suitcase full of mirrors. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> How you cut your own? How do you make that cut? It's a gang of niggas. All right, the nigga that do the lights, we don't need him. Sound man. <laughs> we got a sound man, light man. Well, this nigga do both. Yeah, yeah we do both. And we got a DJ? No, we, we, we get a DJ. We don't need We DJ. need a DJ. Uh, we don't need a DJ. Right, okay. So, that's uh, it. How much we, we, we good? We still over. Good? We still over. We still over. All right, right nigga. This Hold on. We still long over. enough. <laughs> so, what we over at? We over. We over. We over. We over. $4,200. Who, who get 42? Nigga. <laughs> Jerome? Jerome. Jerome getting 42 on it. Yeah, you know the mirror. <gasps> Nigga called the, Jerome. The oh, one. my gosh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is he under contract? He on the phone call. He on the phone call. Oh man, my call God. Terry. <laughs> call Terry. You don't hey, even man, you got to tell your brother it ain't good. No more. It ain't sexy no more. <laughs> I right, shout out Jerome when you get here. We love you, Jerome. <laughs> we going to get to the bottom of this. ain't got no sense. <sighs> Thank you for that meme. That was funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was Chuck Farmer. Shout out to him. Yeah, he does our memes hilarious. on the rollout chat Somebody room. Somebody bring me a mirror. This nigga's sitting by the computer going, what they going to say today? Dang <laughs> 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 I'll make a meme. Hey, he, got, he got a little competition, though. Tom, Tom G.I. Tom G on the, in, the, uh, in the chat room. Nah, he was trying to do nah, it, but then but nah. then Chuck put the faces. <laughs> Tom was like, if I could do the faces like he do the faces, I'd be killing the game. <laughs> Chuck be like, you can't get on my level. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> what you got for us, baby girl? It is time, now time for... Uh, the rollout <laughs> weird news for Wednesday. It Every is weird week Wednesday. Every a different day. Yeah. No, it's weird Wednesday. <laughs> Okay, oh, I'll do a few okay. stories because we have a special guest on the way, and I want to share some of these stories with him, too. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, um, this story reminded me of last weekend because a woman, 110, drank three Miller High Lifes a day for 70 years with a shot of Johnny Walker Blue Label. No, not that black label. <laughs> not <though>. the black, <laughs> but the blue. <laughs> So this woman is 110 years old, and she has been drinking three beers and a shot of whiskey for three years. I mean, for 70 years. Wow. Let me get my... From the recommendation of her doctor. Really? Her doctor. doctor (laughs) Did the doctor feel good? (laughs) Doctor feel good. It took you a minute to get to uh, under recommendation. You said under recommendation. (laughs) Oh, no, Speedy. I'm not (laughs) DRC. Under (laughs) recommendation. Um, But anyway... So she's 110. She's still alive? She's a she's still alive. She's 110. Three Miller High Lifes. I don't know if she has seen horse and buggy and cell phones all in the same yes. motherfucking get down. Right. Well, she just turned 110 last it's crazy. Season. Why you, Miller man. High Lifes though? Is she still doing that, I wonder? At 110? Yeah. Uh, apparently not? so. <laughs> Why not? It don't matter. <laughs> don't stop now? You better not stop. That's when you die. <laughs> <laughs> keeping you here. Right. You know what? I'm a <clears throat> shit. No, I'm not, bitch. <laughs> Is it that blue ribbon? You trying to kill me with this PBR? Bitch, I said Miller High Life. And at 110, every time she wake up, she go, I got one. Okay, cool. Hilarious. I got God, God missed me. Exactly. I must have went to sleep. You wake up with one eye first. I'm still here. Okay, cool. I don't see no clouds. <laughs> we get the Miller High Life and that blue label. <laughs> uh, Grammy? Right. So she is a triple. She didn't outlive everything. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. And the George hot, Washington, her, she everybody. looks good. Really? Yeah, it's a black lady. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Well, that's not a surprise. So she knew, so she was born uh, 18... Okay. Eight, <laughs> that's 18, a college guy. 1905. No, 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 no. no. She's 2015. 1905. Okay, 1905. 
Who's the president in 1905? You, I don't know. Shit. <laughs> you, <laughs> George Washington. It's this nigga. Yeah, I'm like mm. it was somebody. It was somebody. No, I'm just white. saying. Let's, let's go. Say Hello. George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Country 400 years old. Who was the president in 1905? Nigga, look, you got yes, the iPad. You got Siri. I had to put a code in. Anyway, I get on to the next Siri. story. Why you? Why are you looking it up? Over here doing Jeopardy questions. <laughs> that's remarkable, man. Yes. It is. She owes. It is remarkable. 1905? Yes. You didn't see it. She's seen every earth You seen so. racism come and come back. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The same shit they said in 06. Hey, they killing niggas with slingshots. Now they shooting them with bullets. Okay. 06, Grammy? The yeah. next story. Um, two men have been arrested on suspicion of setting up a meth lab at a Taco Bell. <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Where? Uh, I'm going to get this. Big Iowa. Big. I'm like, oh, I'm going to guess no, the Hispanic. I meant, I meant where in the Taco Bell? Right. <laughs> like the bathroom or right behind? These tacos make me want to clean up. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, no, what is it about meth head? I like, know. Them niggas can clean. <laughs> Man, my I wife know I got live a, with I ain't going to call her meth head, but you call her what you want to go. This bitch can clean. You can eat off oh, my oh, floor when I was living. I get mad because soon she clean up, Jonathan, then fuck it all. I'm like, motherfucker, you see what this little bitch is doing? <laughs> get them crayons up. <laughs> She is good. She I folded know. my underwear in little packages <laughs> and lined them up color wise. Wow. <laughs> what? Yes. And, she, and then she was like, I'm oh, sorry. I folded up your clothes in your drawer. I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> right. Don't trip. Don't trip. And all my shirts went from white to dark. Oh. <laughs> all, my, all my. Now, everybody knows. So all the tennis shoes, all the Jordans with the, the Jordan emblem was all in one shelf Ooh. second shelf was the uh nike airs mm. and then the miscellaneous tennis shoes over here what's the miscellaneous uh, you, just Anything. shoes that don't have nah uh, nike no no yeah. i have no nah, nah. procats no. Pro what <laughs> <laughs> only non nikes Skips. i have is hands i have some under armors and some under armor boots boots they, they give them to you <laughs> i'm sorry they gave it to fox uh, anyway, <laughs> it's kind of like giving it to me these guys were arrested <laughs> After uh, evidence of a meth lab were found inside of a Taco Bell, um, the police say they offered uh, the officers found two men outside the restaurant. One was an employee of Taco Bell. Of course, Bell. you gotta have keys to do that, <laughs> right? Also, you're making it while they were off work, or when the restaurant was closed. Uh, so after, so one was the assistant manager. And you're like, okay, man, <laughs> this is what we're going to do. So how'd they get caught? Somebody undercover? That, so somebody I, found the meth inside the, maybe yeah. the owner or the manager, somebody well, found the meth I don't know. There. They said meth, meth has a nice, yeah, strong smell. Things. Super strong. It does. Yeah. yeah and Probably not over them tacos and <laughs> <laughs> like, no. I know, right? Why does it smell like tacos and magic shave in here? <laughs> Whatever's in meth, it make you lose your cuspid, because that's the first thing goes. So your, your true. Cuspid gone. <laughs> I don't know why. What? Am I lying? That's the first tooth go is the cuspid. That when you smile and I see <laughs> you, you missing the whole back row. Be like right here. Yeah. They, yep. they, you, like as long as you stay here, you're good. You go back here. Oh, oh. And they always smile too hard. You're yeah. like, where are the back of your teeth? Oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. that. I ain't never smoked shit. Ain't nobody ever need no cuspid. <laughs> Smoke shit. Because <laughs> it, it don't fuck with these two front ones. <laughs> From from the cuspid <laughs> in, you good. <laughs> cuspid <laughs> back. <laughs> That's why I was tripped when I watch Atlanta Housewives or 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 the. Uh, uh, That's what was. Uh, hip hop, hip hop. Loving hip hop. Oh, hip hop. Because the mama got all oh, yeah. the. Oh yeah. And she did. Right, and she married him. I'm like, uh -huh. go on, get them. She can't. Get Ain't nothing to hold in there. You got mama did. You got to no you gotta have something to hold up in there. Poly grip. No. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't gonna remember to put that on every day. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, cuspid's gone. Damn. That's okay, stupid. one one more story before we go to break. Um, a 26-year-old woman has claimed she is going blind after drinking 28 cans of Red Bull a day. Shit. Uh, dumb oh, bitch. Yeah, that's <laughs> stupid. I, why would you drink? What can you say? Why would you even tell them why you For drink? For what? And so she now she's going. I thought you. I thought you. Uh, well, fucked with your kid. Yeah, I don't that's think why it's so blind. much the Red Bull as opposed to her being overweight. Ah, uh -oh. Or lack oh, of water. Oh, now she blind. Di she fat. Diabetic. <laughs> she got a bitch. She diabetic. Got fat, fat, fat eyelids. She can't lift them no more. It's too heavy. I need you. I'm blind. Well, you 
I'll list you my, know uh, those uh, Red Bulls <laughs> are full of sugar. Like, oh yes, it's twenty eight oh, okay. cans, and so she's consuming about three thousand calories per day. Ooh, of just Red Bull and burning off one calorie. Red Bull. Right. She says she drinks the Red Bull and has one meal a day. So <laughs> she thinks <laughs> this is a weight Here's loss my program. One meal. I don't I know. Why the the platter of food. It's no, the, the one meal is uh, fast food. Oh, oh she, yeah, she's she trying, trying to kill herself. She's trying to die. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's a wrap. How would you drink 20? That's, just, that's, that's a case of like, That's a case that's, of them. That's two cases. And really they're expensive. That good. They're like yeah. 250 yeah. a can. Yeah. Well, if you go to <laughs> Smart case, and Final. You go to yeah. 99 cent store. Guy. But they're not even good. But even no, if Red Bull is even horrible. if it's 99 yeah, cents, that's $28 a day. I don't want to say that case is I was like, So $28 a day for how long should we be doing that? Shit. Don't matter. A week. Yeah, right, right. Shit. So now she's going blind. So she, let me guess, she's going to sue them? Yeah. Right, Red Bull, right? Yeah, she's trying to sue. Oh, wow. And uh, she said, I used to drink 28 cans of Red Bull in a day. In a day. And I'd only have a small meal at night. But it was usually something <laughs> fast <cow>. food. <laughs> or a packet of pasta. Top ramen? Oh, damn. Oh, ew. Salt. You know much salt is in yes. top ramen? <laughs> Some of it is so good. Is it a pack? Is it a, a packet of pasta? So I pasta? didn't know. Top ramen is not even pasta. It's horrible. Well, I mean, it's, it's pasta like. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Top ramen is bomb. It's you think it's nasty? Adjacent. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pasta. It is pasta adjacent, though. It's like Chef Boy. I hear so that stuff is bad for you. It's so that. bad. It's the, the salt. It's really in that little package. It's not the really, salt, but the, the ramen they, itself. They, they freezing it salt, but anyway, it's fucked up for you. Yeah, I, and that was my good. get down when I first got my son because cents. it was easy, you know, get to get to pay. go. You was daddy, I'm hungry. Go on in there and boil some water and pour it on them. <laughs> and I'll throw a hot chop up, up some there. wieners. Yep. And put some mayonnaise in it. Ew. Okay, I don't know about that. that oh, I don't know no, about that. Wait, wait. You know what you're for. That's TMI. Okay, I've been to jail. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's called a spread. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn, aioli. What they do in jail, well, I don't know. So you take the top ramen, they cut up the hot dogs, or they come up, cut up uh, <laughs> sardines or whatever. You've been there for longer than a weekend. Watch your tone. And so they, <laughs> they put it in the top ramen, you mix it up with a uh, Miracle Whip. And it's your and, and you had that's your spread, and everybody come over to your cell. Hey, nigga, what you got? And they get their crackers, and they dip so it in. You talk the goal to is to see who throws up first. Oh, that right. punk ass nigga. No, nah, you know, that shit. Anything is probably better than what they serving yeah. up. If that is better than what they serving in jail, then fuck it, that. We need to fix the jail. <laughs> <laughs> no, Absolutely. No, no they, they we them. don't. That's what. They, no. <laughs> <laughs> like Richard Pryor said, no. some of them niggas belong there. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> I ain't say let them out, but at least give them some better it food. It ain't Club Med up in there. <laughs> it should be. But yeah, that, that's called a spread. And they, that really? was good. Speedy, you were in jail long enough to do a spread? <laughs> Clearly. I know, right? What's the longest spread? And it was two different spreads because he did the ramen spread and did the sardine spread. Oh, what's the sorry. longest time? <laughs> Damn, Speedy, what's, what's, what what's the longest stretch? You yeah. Need? <laughs> yeah. Well, you brought it up. <laughs> you you brought it up. Tell us that and then we'll go to Too break. soon? Too soon? And we're going to break, right? You got yeah. it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Back. You, some Brooklyn don't know about your Speedy. past life. Oh, oh, his son is here. We forgot. But he's, he's outside. Watch, he's watching TV. He got headphones on. He in the. <laughs> It's the Rollout Show. We'll be back. <laughs> back. Take a quick break. Come right back. Don't move. The number to call in to if you want to talk to us is... 323-293-3375. Call in and find out how long Speedy spent <laughs> in, jail. in jail. Tell us about your spread. Right. <laughs> that don't even sound right. <laughs> we'll be back. Pause. And we back. Yo, we are back. Thank you for the music, DJ. DJ Ghost. We on some BYOM. <laughs> Bring your own music. <laughs> hey, brown bag in the music. <laughs> it's the all new rollout show right here on Morris Media. Uh, you can also check out the show on speedyandfriends.net. And uh, we're in the chat room. We're in the chat room on uh, which one? Uh, the rollout chat room on Facebook. Yeah. Um, you could see some of the memes and follow the show there. Yeah, we're there. Uh, it's your boy, Speedy. I'm the poetess. It's your boy Kente and Nikki Pam. Hey, Nikki. Hey, babe. All right, cool. Uh, we we've been doing something, and uh, apparently, it's taken on to a world of its own. <laughs> uh, word of the day, yeah, uh, which was originated because we wanted our audience, not just me, we wanted uh -huh. to be <laughs> to, be <laughs> to abreast, expand his vocabulary, yes, to be abreast of other words, exactly college words. Yeah, you know, right. since well, you didn't, you didn't hang words. out in college too long, we wanted to help you out with some college <laughs> words. But well, shout out to the folks in the chat rooms. Yeah, they always the, see the one that did the doppelganger of Speedy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Speedy doppelganger. 
was on Unsung last night. <laughs> <laughs> the fact he was able to freeze that like that. Yeah. Take oh, you know. He's the fact that he used that. the word doppelganger better than you did. He had time. Yeah. You look it up and spell it out. Yeah, All man. right, what's the word of the day? The word of the day with Kente is umbrage. 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 Now, what is that? U-M-B-R-A-G-E. Umbrage means offense or annoyance. So you can take oh. umbrage. You know, so, so the sentence, my sentence is, mm -hmm. when they called Jesse, I mean Jerome in, and said, give us the mirror, he took umbrage with how they kicked him out the group. He was That's offended. A good one. Okay, offended. Yeah. Umbrage. Umbrage. Offense or annoyance. Not going under the bridge. Uh, umbrage. Okay, cool. N N what? That's not the... I got it. <laughs> okay. You going to use it in a sentence? Not oh, yet. That was your Sam sentence? Sam usually goes next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, keep it right. Umbrage. So when my man told me he didn't like to kiss... I took umbrage to that. Yeah! See, Pam yeah. did that! Yeah. yeah! Up top, up top, yeah! Get excited oh, with these Oh, sorry. Words. <laughs> Poetess, umbrage. Umbrage. The word is umbrage. When niggas don't have my money. <laughs> <laughs> when niggas don't have my money on time, I take serious umbrage to that. <laughs> yeah. That was real, That's boy. What's you, up. Can, you can feel the umbrage coming yeah, through. Yeah, that word is right powerful. Yeah. That's a powerful word right yeah. there. Umbrage. Umbrage. Mm -hmm. Five seconds. When people don't laugh at my jokes, I get umbrage. I get umbrage. No. 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 You know. I don't I was, get you was almost no, there. You take you umbrage. Almost, okay, you right. take umbrage. When people don't laugh at my jokes, <laughs> I, take I take umbrage, umbrage to that. To, okay, the, okay. to the silence. I take, I take umbrage. I don't get no to silence. To the silence. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to the booze. I was helping your senses. Right, right, no, no. Yeah. When I went to jail. Mm-hmm. For how long? <laughs> An unbridge amount of time. Oh, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> Take umbrage with how you beating up the word umbridge. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the word is umbridge. Umbridge, yes. Okay, cool. That's a good so one. you so, take offense to what's yes, going on. It is, it is offense or annoyance. So you take yeah. offense. How, and I take, you spell that how? U-M-B-R-A-G-E. Yeah, I, I can see myself as spelling bee. Umbridge. And the word is umbridge. <laughs> you be like, uh, can you, can you say the sentence? Umbridge. <laughs> I write probably would have spelled B R like bridge. Me too. B R I D G. Yes, I know. I know. And how do you spell it again? And I'm a good speller. U M B R A G E. U M B R A G E. So I gave you a strong So short, call us up, 323 293 3375, and um, tell us how you take umbridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or go in yeah. the chat room. And yes, all of that. Don't that, make a So mean. the word of the day with Kente is umbrage. Love it. I That's a great word. Umbridge. He's proud of that word. I, I love proud. that word. I'm proud of Do you all actually use that word? Yes. These are words you act. These are not no bullshit. No, 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 no. he does I sometimes. Kente will throw a word on you. Yeah. He really will. Mm -hmm. He does. Yeah. He throws words on you. I'd be like, anyway, this nigga that's think that's he's smart. <laughs> that's that private school. Who the fuck? You're so angry. Did you graduate? Yes, nigga. You walked. Yes. Captain Gown. Captain Gown. And was a major? It was lamb skin and everything. What was a major? History, but don't worry about Your it. Your mama crying, everybody crying? Yeah, no, they weren't crying. They was like, nigga, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> About time. Shit, you the last one we got to pay for. Get out of here. <laughs> scram, nigga, scram. There's seven of us, nigga. My daddy's like, all y'all can't go to college. <laughs> Some of you niggas got to take a L. <laughs> Some of y'all got a Jerome this shit. Y'all did like the Hunger Games <laughs> college. Be very umbrage. So now you just made him a verb right now. <laughs> yeah. He took umbrage with how you just made him a verb. He took umbrage. <laughs> Your daddy took oh umbrage with all y'all thinking y'all was going to go to college. No, no, no. I know all y'all. I know all y'all. Some of y'all got falls with crap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the lights off. I'm going to lock the door. Whichever two survive, one of y'all going to community college, the other one going to real college. One of you niggas going to be a comic. <laughs> <laughs> take umbrage of that. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was almost. That was almost. Okay, was cool. All right. Let's go to our segment, my segment. I love the most. I love this. I wish we had music playing. I know. I liked a good time. Dun, 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 dun. No, I don't like that. This should be some. Dun, 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 dun. He did Flintstones. He did, he did the Flintstones. Yeah, yeah I like the Flintstones. Right. He did the Flintstones on his way up. It's now time for TV Junkies. Yes. We try our best to get you hooked on some shit we like. Absolutely. The shit I like. And it's a new show out. It's two of y'all. It's to yeah, me and uh, Pam. You said I. It's we. Shit I like. I said shit we like or shit I like. Oh, okay. Selfish. <laughs> right. I I, again, I'm not here. How you feel. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I like see, that. there you there go. You go. See? Hey. See how I baited you into that one? So I wrote it down. So yeah. I can start writing the word down. I can glance down at it. Please, please do. Umbridge. Please do. He has to take notes. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
Pam is in the building. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll let you go first today. Okay. Uh, what is the TV junkie show we need to get our fans hooked on? Or okay, my first on? show is uh, Sex Sent Me to the ER. It's on TLC. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were serious. About that? Okay, yeah, that's off the <laughs> chain. Might, might be. <laughs> huh? What? Nothing. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay. I've seen Tangerine on an episode of that. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, hilarious. Um, yes, well, what they do is reenactments on sex stories pretty much and um, they had a couple stories like one they had a 440 pound man um, who put his 110 pound girlfriend through a wall wow <laughs> a woman who <laughs> suffered oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, right. having sex with her he put her through the wall because he's so big 440 110 it can I'm happen saying, he, <laughs> he called his doggy style wrecking ball exactly <laughs> <laughs> And she went through, what kind of wall is this? I know, right? Is, they live machine. in a paper machine? <laughs> the card house? You can't go through uh, sheetrock. I don't know if y'all know it or not. Sheetrock ain't no yeah. joke. I know that. Ain't like you can just go through and go, damn, I fucking went through your wall. Went through that real cheap, cheap drywall right quick. God damn. Okay. Three, when they went through the wall. Uh -huh. And so and they, they reenacted that? Yeah, they reenacted. And then a woman who suffered a two-hour orgasm. Wow. Where's Where's she, I can't remember what Where's that she feels at? like. That's the most. Man, you was thinking about that. Really yeah, I was. I was like, huh? Because for a dude, I'm I'm standing in there like an hour later going, "Is you still yeah. going through it?" And you're like, "I'm the man." I'm the man. like, "No, it's not." Oh, it's yeah. like, oh. Maybe for the first hour, you're like, "Yeah, I'm the man." After that, be like, "Bitch, stop playing." Yeah, <laughs> you're doing too much right now. <laughs> All right, we know you came. Okay, cool. <laughs> Why are you in the car coming, bitch? <laughs> exactly. Right. So it's that's like that's, that's, my, with me. that's my shit. Right. So now. they hire someone to play mm -hmm. these characters, but mm -hmm. they're real stories. It's reenactments. Yeah. But they're real stories based off of real stories. So they have like the who the doctors tell the stories of the people who come in. No, they they. They reenact the whole situation. Uh -oh. Yeah, this is reenactments. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. oh. So, do they have the real person going? This is what happened to me, and then they have the actor. Like, no, that? they have they, they have, have commentary. The, yeah, they have the real people. Like, you know how they do on the reality shows mm -hmm. and like the confessional yeah. rooms, don't they? Yeah, they do. So, yeah, the lady that had the two hour one was really there. I, know, I mean, she right? was, yeah, because you got to get their consent to tell Oh, she had two hours. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have to get a consent. Yeah. I mean, you so know. She's like, I'm sure. on TV again. She went through a wall. Shit, what the hell? I mean, but like, <laughs> she's like, I'm a star. But a two-hour orgasm. I didn't even think that was possible. You you want to try you don't that? Because like, huh? you don't know me. Yeah. <laughs> oh so lord. About some shit like, wait a minute. This, I take this pill and this pill, combine them together, <laughs> and a and, dick. And Woo! <laughs> gave me forty five minutes one time, so I take four more of them <laughs> and a dick. Woo! <laughs> so that's why. And it's called what again? Sex sent me to the ER. What channel? On TLC. TLC. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Mine's is the <laughs> Carbonero effect. <clears throat> This I'm guy, happy you said he's that. He's uh, hilarious. <laughs> uh, I watched the show with me and this kid. It's fucking hilarious. It's He's a magician. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And he finds, and he's based in Atlanta, so you see a lot of black folks get, uh -huh. get tricked. And they do these tricks with people. And it's weird how you can almost make somebody believe some shit. Then you go, this could have never happened. And he'll go, yeah, it's just a new thing called whatever, whatever. And they go, yeah, it could be that. So it's really, really funny. It's a, it's a very good show. You want to watch with your kids or whatever. What network? Uh, it's on True TV. Oh, yeah. that's comes my on statement. Wednesdays. Yeah, True TV oh, is putting it in. Uh -huh. But it's uh, it's it's funny. It's uh, he's not. I wouldn't say he's on. Well, he could, he's on the level of uh, Chris Angel. Oh, okay. It's yeah. just that you go to see Chris Angel and then you see what he's doing. He is like. Let's say you get hired at a job site, and he that dude that's working at the job, yeah. and he's doing the oh, magic on you right like that. Oh, that's what's up. And uh, he did this thing where uh, he worked at a museum, and uh, there was an egg, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Oh shoot, it's breaking!" And it it comes open, and it's an alligator. And the brother went, "Oh my god, don't it, <laughs> you got!" And the black people are so <laughs> it was like a dinosaur egg. Yeah, or something. They, oh, wow. Black folks are so egg, and they they don't know they on camera right. until afterwards, but. Every black person like, oh, oh. one lady was crying because a cat came out of a. Okay, so he opens this box and it's it's a dried up it's supposed to be a cat mummified. Uh huh. So he puts the cover on it, acts and they go, oh, it's cracked. Bring it back. I have to fix that box. He takes the top off, and it's one of those cats with no hair. Oh yeah. Comes and the lady start crying. Oh Lord Jesus! Oh Lord Jesus! <laughs> I'm looking like I said. I know when they saw this, they was like, this. Yes. Yeah, they were like, that's gold right there. That's gold right there. And then they had one. Older black dude. He had to be about, I'm going to say 65. Mm -hmm. So he's standing at the counter and you, he's waiting for Michael to come in and start whatever he's going to But he doesn't know he's going to do this. Right. And it was a white lady. And they, oh, younger white lady, thick, mm -hmm. a little fluffy. He looked up and said, how you doing today? <laughs> she said, fine, how are you? He said, I'm doing good for an old man. 
And I'm doing good for a young man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can see he was ready to get his Mac on, and then it was time for Michael to do the thing. Uh -huh. Somebody got to let my son in. Uh, <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. It's a great show. Uh, right. Check it out. It's okay. the Cabanero oh, yeah. effect. And he's so straight with it. Like he, yeah, he's yeah. Like, what, what, what's, why, and you'll why, be surprised. And they be like, oh my god, oh my god. Like, what, yeah. what's the problem? I don't understand. It's just a. Kid. And he doesn't let he doesn't let them or the people no. off the hook until yeah. the very end. Oh yeah, so wow. He keeps it going. What's the second one you have for us? Okay, so my this is my reality show of all time. I bought a shirt. <laughs> I did. I did the first season. I bought a shirt. I'm groupie. I didn't know they had. I am a groupie of the show. I'm not gonna lie. Are you a reality groupie? Yeah. I am. Bring it on Lifetime. What? Bring it. It's a it's a, it's a show about a hip hop majorette team. Um, they do competitions. So a what? Hip hop majorette team. Oh, the little girl. Yes. Yes. I keep telling myself I'm gonna watch that. Yeah, it's so good. The well, dance is about the dancing that? dolls exactly. and against everybody else. Well, for my daughter, cause she she loves it. She loves that kind of stuff. That show is off the chain. I don't know why I'm a, I'm addicted to that show big time. My daughter loves to cheer. She would love like we watch. Yeah. Uh, so you think you can dance? And mm -hmm. so, yeah, we heard. So I, I think we need to do something like that on the West Coast. It's a Southern thing, pretty much and i don't know why we don't have for the kids i mean i think that's great for women young girls what you, and what you knowing so, about so so do they go really into like the reality part like the family yeah the family yeah the mothers are on there and how they push their kids and stuff like that but it gives these girls who you know probably wouldn't make it any other way it focuses them in on other things besides sex and drugs and whatever and gives them you know they go to competitions from uh, Mississippi to Atlanta, pretty much through the South, Dallas and whatever, and it, it's dope. It's really and dope. And it's called what again? Um, bring it on Lifetime. Mm. Bring that it is on my Lifetime. Show. Write that and Miss Diana heads it, founded by so it's off the Who's chain. Who's Miss Diana? You Ms. made Diana. it sound like somebody we knew. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I call her Miss Diana. So, like I said, D D for L. <laughs> so you bought a T-shirt? Yes, I sure did. Did you just do a gang shout out? <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. D D for L. So why did you throw your finger? You got kicked. You, you, you have to do it. D D for L. That's how you got to do it. You're not in the gang. You're like, I want your man. I want to be your major. Yeah. I do. That. I want to be a majorette. So if you had a daughter, you would put her on there? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. I want to do, I almost wanted to do something like that on the West Coast, like, you know, a competition thing. Okay. We don't have anything like that. Debbie Allen got her dance school over But there, right? well, does she compete? Yes. Does, oh, she does against who? Yes. Look, she I know that. She's uh, in the streets. Her sister. Oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> That's a great show. My show number two mm -hmm. is a good friend of mine has a show on NBC, which is really hard to do, but mainly because of Blackish is mm -hmm. why he, uh, I think, why he was able to get the show. Mr. Craig Robinson show airs tonight. Oh, okay. It's called Mr. Robinson uh, on NBC, nine o'clock. Uh, he's a comic uh, who actually started. Uh, he, his thing was he would he plays mm -hmm. the piano. Mm -hmm. And he would do his comedy act through different songs. Yeah, and so they were able to channel that into a show. And he's a oh, eighth really? grade teacher at a at a, a junior. I guess it's junior high. is eighth grade. Yeah, and um, he's eighth grade teacher who teaches music, and uh, it's about pretty much his life. Oh, cool. yeah. He it's hosted a, the Image Awards uh, luncheon one time, and him he sang. Yeah. Oh my God. He, he could yeah. sing. No, he he did this one. He said I was at my. Uh, girlfriend's uh, uh, dad's funeral and he didn't know what to play so he played If You Don't Know Me <laughs> By Now oh. You Will Never 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 Know <laughs> That's hilarious Man I was on the fucking ground <laughs> Oh that's hilarious And, I, and I say this because anytime there's a black show mm -hmm. you ain't got Gotta to support. like it just tune into it because that'll register Just leave your TV on no, yeah, but but, but Craig's show is gonna be funny. I, I I gotta like it. A little it's like bit. that Steve Harvey. I think they took the same because remember Steve Harvey yeah. was because you do junior high, so you have yeah. a long way to go with that. Right. Yeah. Where yeah. you do high school, junior high, you Got can pretty much work through the kids all the way through. Uh, I think it's gonna be a great show. Uh, it's called Mr. Robinson. Comes yeah. on tonight. Okay. Oh yeah, Craig Robinson. I like him. You ain't in the <laughs> fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> your headphones, you know how to turn your headphones off, do you? She was like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, Craig Robinson, you got show Mr. When did we lose you? Tonight at 9 o'clock on NBC. <laughs> That's going to be a great show. It's what you telling me? He, he teaching eighth graders how to play music. It's going to be a great show. You know, another good show is that cheerleading show. Y'all talk about that? Huh? Okay. Well, you ever seen fuck? Sex Send Me to the ER? I love that show. Uh, <laughs> to, can you turn this mic off, please? <laughs> right. Shit. <laughs> you come in and she went. Oh, Robinson got a show? <laughs> no, I said I was. You're talking about Craig Robinson's show, right? No, oh. Mr. Robinson. This is that bullshit. Yes, Craig Robinson. <laughs> I 
I'm saying. And I said, and I was just. Are you angry? She about to slap shit out. Are you angry for coming in on my segment late? She about to take umbrage with you inside your head. <laughs> or umbrella. I would say I've just seen, like, a lot of, they're running a lot of commercials for him, okay. for his show. <laughs> We have a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> caller, what's your name and where I you calling from? I'm of you fucking up my sex. <laughs> hey, caller, what's your name and where you calling from? Yo, Los Angeles is DJ New York City. Can't call a sleep with Speedy and friends. Could you plug your turntables up to the phone? And <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's up, dog? How you living? Welcome to the show. Uh, I'm living cool, living cool. The weather's a little hot, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, thank you, brother. Appreciate that. You called in to say what? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm enjoying the show. Oh, thank you. Uh, you guys got a hell of a personality, hell of ambiance over there. Ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> ambiance. The word of the Love day. Already. That's not the word of the day. Don't take umbrage with ambiance. He threw that out there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Round of applause for ambiance. <laughs> Apparently he's yeah, that's, that's my last big word for the day. <laughs> <laughs> you get that out before lunch. <laughs> you always got to get one word out. <laughs> well, thank you for listening, man. We appreciate it. Make sure you're checking out the Robinsons. Mr. Robinson. And go Mr. On Robinson our, comes on tonight. Pro Bowl. Put your money down on the Pro Bowl. Yeah, we're going to Pro Bowl. <laughs> What's the website, Pam? Upacipplan.com. Yes. Go to Upac. And we'll have the details for you in the next break. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Thank you for the phone call, brother. Uh, we're almost finished with this segment. Are yeah. You we, 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 now? We, we, <laughs> we only got one more little thing to say. Go ahead. All right. Go. What, <laughs> do what you look, do. Look, listen, what show would you bring back? <laughs> Soul Damn. Train, of course. Oh, what, you know, Soul you know, Train. I would bring back is what? David Allen Green <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. Well, hey, yeah, I feel like I'll fucking. It's not it. your turn. <laughs> we go Pam Speedy, and then you can chime in. <laughs> okay, <God. laughs> This is the best segment ever. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't see that contact. She said, you say, know what show I bring back? No, no, say what show you bring back. Hey, this, so, this I would bring back so. You know what show I would bring back? <laughs> Can I finish my bring back show? You asked the question, I'm answering it. Yes. We <laughs> weren't asking you. <laughs> All right, back to not paying attention. <laughs> She's like, see, you want me to be in your double dutch now when I jump in the rope. You want me to be like, I ain't I my turn. rope, now's the problem. Because <laughs> you grab one side of the rope. Ain't nobody on the other side? How you double dutch with nobody on, on the other side? Carry on, carry <laughs> on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What show would you bring I'm back? trying to bring back Soul Train. <laughs> now I know that it was bought initially by Magic, but th- but then um, Nick Cannon took it over or took over the Soul Train or bought the Soul Train from him. <laughs> and I would love to see that back, but it's got to be the same vibe. Because after a certain year, I'm gonna say like '85, um, it just no, I liked every year. You did, even Jeez. when they didn't nah. have like I don't know. Well, I, near when the Shamar end, Moore when, got when on Shamar there? got, got yeah, on, it was like yeah, I told Shamar, I said, you, "You got I don't know who dressing you. The shirts are way too tight." <laughs> I can't you watch know. with your your imprint of your uh, ori- what was it, areola? Areola. Areola. your areola, bro. You about to call them Oreos? <laughs> <laughs> Oreos, man. your Oreos were showing, my nigga. Every time I saw him, I said, "Bruh, why do you have to unbutton to the cleavage?" <laughs> then the dude they had on after that, I don't oh, light skin dude. Yeah, oh, who was that? Yeah, he was I like, it was. Was, was, was like on days of our lives, like young and restless or something. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. He tried to be Soul Train cool, but really couldn't pull really, it off. He's like, you same. know what? You got to be hip with <laughs> right. like a hip. <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't know what they think. And then too, they start having like it started looking like American bands then. Yeah. Yeah. The, the acts, because they were just reaching. Like, right. they couldn't get no more black acts. Right. Come to say, show your love for them. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know when Soul Train lost me? When I found out, they told the niggas the answer to the scramble board. Oh, yeah. I was oh, like, oh, yeah. They oh, always shit. did that. Bobby Brown. Because it used to be funny as fuck. You always they made it the scramble board. They don't know the word. Hey, yeah. how you spell uh, Team Summit? <laughs> you spelled that shit wrong. Oh. And they be taking a minute to act like they don't know that they just be like, yeah, and, and somebody tell they'll be dancing, and somebody tell them, they go back and go and change the M, <laughs> flip it over, and be a right. W. My bad. Right. Yeah. That's true. Like, they did tell you. I was like, man, mm-hmm. the mother girls. Oh, weather. I was like, <laughs> I would love to work on the show. Shout out if you bring it out. I'm just saying. So Nick Cannon but, has a right to it. Yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. He brings so it back well, yeah. Last I heard, he was going to do it, but please do, please do, and I want to work on it. Just saying. do it right. You know, All right. <laughs> my bring back show because I used to love the show is a different world. 
Okay. It's a different world. You know, I only like, like the DJ, first. They would cue that in. I didn't like it when um. What's, what's her name fuck? was on there? Um. Uh, Denise. Yeah. She was I liked it for after. One season. I know, but I liked it after that. Oh yeah. That's yeah. What it, I thought it was all great. I I thought it got a lot of actors out there that we had never seen before. That's yeah. true. A lot. Which you know it's hard to do that now because once they find one actor, they ride them motherfuckers yeah. till they fall off, mm-hmm. and then they add another one for look like them. But right. a different world put a lot of people on the map. For and real. It was a great show. Yeah. It was a great fucking show until. <sighs> Until they watch on them got married, and, uh, yeah, they was oh, uh, much, you know. yeah, Dwayne and Whitley, yeah, because yeah. you, I mean, don't get me wrong, when they were dating, it was funny, yeah. mm-hmm. but they was got married, and they got married, it was like a uh, jump to shark, yeah, it did jump to shark. Beca- she became a teacher, or he became yeah. a teacher at, mm-hmm. at yeah, uh, and she was at like the, the dorm. The I was like, why y'all still living in the dorm? Yeah, right. So that's our bring backs. Now we'll open the floor up to somebody else. <laughs> Maybe someone in the room have a like to bring back to, something. Bonus? Something you want to bring back? For? <clears throat> yes, I would like to bring back chocolate news with David Allen Greer. That oh, I did a warm up on that. What happened with that? It was uh, like one season, right? It was. It wasn't even one season. We we shot so it right sweet. here on um, Vine and <laughs> before you got to Sunset. Mm-hmm. There's a studio right there. Right there, yeah. And David was funny as fuck. This was in David's wheelhouse. They yeah. just couldn't was, get was no. Was it on what? Comedy Central or what was it on? It was, I think it was Comedy Central. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it was like. It was short lived. It was like but it John was Stewart. so funny. I don't understand. Uh, see. It was, they, it was before his time. See, those. Before his time. See, this is what it is yeah. with, with blacks. What well, they do at white shows, and I'm just kick the real mm-hmm. they'll put them on and just let it roll yeah. and then a- after a while it starts to get heat mm-hmm. and next thing you know did you hear about this has been on five years mm-hmm. with David they just should have let it go they they did a few it did like a couple of weeks couple months and they didn't see it yes. really getting no numbers they think mm-hmm. David Allen Greer but you would have had to do this show to see the numbers you wanted to see right after Living Color Right. Then you would saw those numbers. Right, exactly. So this is afterward, after after he's yeah. done movies, whatever, mm-hmm. kind of peeled off a little bit. But it was in his wheelhouse. He was funny. He was, was destroying. A great show. He was destroying on the shit. Yeah. And I'm thinking, nigga, I got to warm up for the rest of my life. Absolutely, we good. you would think. You got warm up for the rest of the month. <laughs> for the rest of the week. Yeah, man, I went and bought a car and earth. <laughs> You're like, oh, <laughs> I still got the receipt on this. Can I bring this back? Yeah, I, was, I felt in brum- umbrage. And you didn't. You was not gonna use it right, so that's good. The word, <laughs> the word would not let you. Cut you off right the word. There. The word was like, stop it. But that that was a great show. It was a yeah. great show. Yeah, and, wow. and it really was. Had it stayed on, it would have. It would be a monster yeah. right now. Yeah, that's what they. You know, like you said, with black shows, they got to see like the first yeah. week numbers. It's got to be. But Seinfeld was on like three or four years before, before anybody it yeah. took off. It was yeah. terrible. Can yeah. I say one more show? I would like to see Sex in the City come back. Though. Me too. I, I would not. I would not. Why? I didn't watch I couldn't it. stand that shit. <clears throat> really? Man, that what shit about was, it didn't you like? It was... Well, I like the was, Mr. Big character. He was cool, but it was... See, it was that's like, the one character like, I didn't like. It was like the I whitest love Mr. Big. show ever. There wasn't no sisters on there. I was like, why are these... Yeah, like there's no black people in... Why wouldn't you guys not get off. upset about it? And they were walking yeah, around New should, York and they, not see any black people. They should They should have had a sister on the show, but the situations were universal for all women. Doesn't matter. It's like Friends. When yeah. Friends was friends on, had the one like, you ain't got no, no, in the beginning, they had no black people. Yeah, until yeah. people yeah, they, started talking about it. You live in New York it. City. Yeah, that was they like brought on, uh, season eight, girl. they brought Gabrielle Union, then they brought on, uh, what's, her what's her name? Tyler. Yeah. Uh, Aisha. Oh, Tyler, Tyler. Aisha, yeah. She's not really black. Yeah. <laughs> she's brown. Yeah. <laughs> I like, why you hate on her? I like But she's her. not funny. She's never been funny as a stand-up. I don't give a word. You can yeah. say what not, maybe not and as I'll a stand-up. I'll tell her her face. She's not funny. It was never funny as stand-up. Okay. But she was, she's good on She television. was dating white dudes, and they got her through. Absolutely. And that's what got her through. Let's keep it real. She's not funny. She's never been funny. The formula. And she was dating white Hey. <laughs> Call me. Get at me. I'll tell you in your face. Uh-oh. You Fights in them streets. is going down. Right? I'll take umbrage to you ever chant anything to me. Boom. Oh yeah. You did it. Okay. Me to give me there's high more high to high there's high. more to the story. What, why why the hate? It's not hate. It's like she was never funny. She wasn't kind of funny. There's a lot of people that are not funny but in this business. But, why are you and just sometimes, attacking sometimes her? Sometimes it's not attacking. It's, I'm just gonna keep it real. I'll say the same thing about Sil- Silver Silverman. So, oh, Sarah, uh, Sarah, Sarah. Sarah. You think she was never funny. <laughs> Hilarious. Never, ever, you ever, ever, ever. Funny? I like she Sarah. was never. She I never, don't. I don't care for Sarah. So she really went to that. I'm gonna though. attack you, kind of shit, and it worked for her. Uh-huh. But she, I used to go to the improv on Wednesdays, uh-huh. on white nights, and uh-huh. they, she couldn't get up on white nights, and they wasn't laughing on her. That she just oh, wasn't really? funny. Mm-hmm. And then okay, you so dating. what female do you what? 
I guess, white f- or female do you think is funny? Coca Brown's funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Schumer. He's supposed to be here. Today. Oh, Amy, Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer. Oh, you know what's funny? Fucking um, hilarious. But but she's funny and and she just naturally funny. Ellen DeGeneres. Hilarious. Ellen, oh Stand God. Up. What about the one with the Ellen? right hair? Um, yeah, Ellen's uh, off. The even head. before she said she was gay, yeah. she was funny. She was funny. But she embraced every. So you saying? Oh, never oh, mind. Oh, no, no, about, say uh, it. Go ahead. No, Kathy I was going to say what difference whether she. It was obvious that she's lesbian. So what no, is no, no. her uh, preference or? No, no. I'm saying before she embraced that. You remember, because she had television shows yeah. and everything. Nobody knew she yeah, was gay. Stuff. That was funny. But once she said she was gay, she, she got even funnier. You that they took everything away from her, but they gave it back. Right. They, they sure did. They're like, oops. Because yeah. she yeah, get right. the fans. Because they run Hollywood now. She funny. She mm-hmm. funny. I don't give a fuck. She funny. But Tyler. And Lunell is funny. And Lunell is oh, yeah, funny. Yeah, of course. That's a given. Lunell's funny. The other black female comics that are fun. There's a young lady that did Last Comic Standing last year. Tyree? No, out of New York City. Mm-hmm. I had her. Uh, I took her. <laughs> I took her up. We do a black uh, ski weekend, and I took her. But I tell all the comics when you come up to Aspen, drink water because yeah. the altitude is gonna fuck you up. Mm-hmm. And I tell them, bring a lot of water. Drink a lot of water before you come because you're gonna it's gonna fuck. She didn't do it, and she smoked weed, <laughs> and she was up there smoking weed and passed out and missed the show. Hilarious. They had to take her to the hospital. What? Yeah, because she that wasn't, wasn't weed. Water. That was Sherm. <laughs> Well, that's she like, wasn't drinking the water. She no thought weed. we were just fucking around. That's from and a, she had a, from a weed kind of story. Exactly. That you don't know. Can't be weed. You don't have to go to the hospital off of weed. But no, don't you, you sure don't. <laughs> smoking weed and not drinking water in high altitude don't fuck you up? And you, oh, uh, I weight? smoked weed in high altitude. No, not at your house. I'm talking about. We <laughs> went Aspen. skiing. I was with Red Man and Method Man, so you know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and you drank some. But water it though. is it is a trip being up way up in the high altitudes. That is a different whole thing. It is. But I, I'm not hating on her. She's just not funny. Let's keep. It you clear. think Kathy Griffin's funny? I think she's hilarious. No. Really? Neither do I. No. Oh, I like that Kathy. Raunchy, oh, I like niggas, but I get the fuck out of here. Fuck her. What about okay. Lisa Lampanelli? Oh, I can't stand her. No. no. Oh, oh, really? No. 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 She's fucking horrible. No. Horrible. Horrible. Yes. She tried to be the Andrew Dice Clay yeah. for women. Yeah, she did. That's I thought some of the stuff she's funny. She's Good hit like her. Who do you like? I I like Amy Schumer. I like definitely Lou Nell. And I, there's not Nell very many. broad stroke there. <laughs> Oakland? White folks. <laughs> What's wrong with that? No, I'm just a, a, a <laughs> jump. Part is going to beat your ass today. That's I know, right? You're right, just not it. winning today. Because she's looking at the bottom of part yeah, of the exactly. glass. I also <laughs> like, um, oh, girl, um, she plays in, but she played in Pootie Tang. I can't. Her name excuse oh, me. Oh, Wanda Sykes. Wanda Sykes. Oh yeah, yeah Wanda Sykes I love Wanda. Wanda. Now, now, she's, Wanda. She's kind of she's kind of hit and miss at times, but I do yeah. like Wanda Sykes. Wanda had a show similar to what. Because it filled that the show that uh, uh, what she would did. be good for the nightly show too. I think. Mm-hmm. Well, Maybe she had a show it. like mm-hmm. that, and it it was doing well, and some happened. Yeah, actually, it was it's more of a I did a warm up for that one. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and and matter of fact, her one of her best friends, this guy who dresses up as a female, was one of the reporters on there, and I didn't know. It was a heavy set dude. And I walk in, I was like, that's a big old girl. He was like, and then, hmm. and then he took his clothes off, and I'm backstage <laughs> waiting, and I'm like, you. But wait, when it was a girl, you thought it was. I just said that's a big old dude. That's a big old girl. I was like, God damn it! And you, you white? You didn't know it was a dude. She took her clothes off. Like, ooh shit! Not at first. I was like, you was checking her out, Speedy, because that's what you. I did not just stare like, what the fuck? Mm. Big ass calves. Mm. (laughs) You got football calves. (laughs) 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 But that has been TV junkies with uh, Speedy and Pam. Yes. Nikki Pam. Guest starring Portis. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Sidekick (laughs) Portis. Jerome Hi. Portis. Hit us up on the talk lines, 323-293-3375. Um, go ahead, start your iPods now. We're going <laughs> to take a quick uh, break. Portis. Bring your own music. Portis, we're going to make some cuts <laughs> on this segment. <laughs> Too many motherfuckers. Talk we'll be right show. back. <laughs> and we are back. Thank you, DJ Snow Snowflake. Anyway. It's the all new rollout show. DJ DJ Invisible. DJ Casper. (laughs) It's the all new rollout show with Speedy and Friends and I be Speedy up in the building. Uh, In the building we got. You don't know your own name? The Poetess. In the building we got. It's your boy Kente. And joining us here at the, uh, not really round table, but. Semi. Semi cola. Semi cola. It's a croissant. Croissant. Is the very talented, very beautiful. (laughs) I never tried to get at it because we was friends. Uh, Ah! 
<laughs> thought about it. Anyway, Coca Brown's in the building. What's up, baby? If you just doing? spoke your name literally like five minutes ago, we were talking really? about funny um, comedian, f- funny female, female comedian. And I said you. Oh, thank you, baby. Because you knew she was coming. Speaking. No, she just wanted to. Re- she funny. funny. I, I could walk. I could bring her on and go do some shit. in the room is go to the mall. Go to <laughs> in that motherfucker. Get your ties changed. If you've never seen her, you fuck it up. Welcome to the show. Thank baby. you, baby. Thank you for having me. All right, <laughs> looking good, buddy. Thank you. You know why everybody's saying that now? Your purse. You, you, purse, you only put your tur- purse like, on the table like, when it's something because we got cameras and you know people look. Oh, that's real. That's yeah, real. that's real, baby. That's real. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's that Tyler Perry money. <laughs> Tyler Perry. That's that Tyler Perry money. <laughs> so talk to me. How is it working with Tyler? And it's great. It's great. You know, we just shot our fifth season of A Better or Worse. We're now on own. It's five. five years, dude. Isn't that crazy? No way. It's, it's almost been it was five seasons. We just shot season five. In that now. Oh, in a week. Okay, cool. Yeah, pretty uh, much. Pretty much. You know how TP works, yeah, you know. Yeah, but I love it, though, because we in and we out, honey. We, we're such a well-oiled machine over there. Wow. We and it's shot in ATL, right? Uh-huh, at his studios. And, mm-hmm. you know, we get scripts that week, and we shoot them, and we out. Better know them. We, I'm saying, it ain't for the faint of heart. If you can't read a script, this ain't the job for you, brother. <laughs> you don't, your finger. Uh, don't, right need, no. don't need an audition for Tyler if you can't read a script. <laughs> wow, that's great. You know, you saying Speedy won't make it? Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Ooh, the face is priceless. Tyler, right now. take umbrage with you trying Ooh, to read his script. Ooh, the face is priceless. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Anyway, <laughs> look, as long as he can write my checks, I don't really care what speed he do otherwise. Okay, as long as my checks was good, I don't so, care. So you're on the road doing stuff? Yeah, you know, I'm back on the road now. I'm, I'm literally like, you know, triple banging it right now because I'm working on two different TV shows and I'm touring as well. So it's like nuts right now. Mm. So when I get some downtime, I'm just mama. Now I follow you. Yeah. You know, and I don't know why I follow you. And uh, you just. <laughs> book something yeah yeah i'm really excited um i can a little bit i can't get into detail but um it's a new show coming out on fx called american crime story that's produced by um john um john travolta and being directed by john singleton and it's my first major dramatic role um because it focuses on trials of the century so just think about all the big trials that we've Mm. ever had in this country and you're in it and i'm in it i'm in it and i'm you know like when they show the beginning credits they show you like Oh, yeah, it's probably going to be me in it. Yeah, because I play oh, a very shit. intricate part of the, um, you know, cast. And I, I'm just excited because, you know, I'm just, I'm so grateful that, you know, John Singleton took a chance on me because so many people know me for comedy. They know me for being a comedic actress. And I've been wanting so desperately to branch out into drama and let people know I got chops. You know, I'm trained. I ain't just show up funny and just decide to be an actor. No, I've taken classes. I've, you know, worked on my craft for okay. almost 20 years. I, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, I have to. So. <laughs> can't read yet, though, so. So it says here that you have a CD also coming out. One it's already out. Mama. It's oh, already okay. out. It's on iTunes called One Funny Mama. Yeah. Um, I shot it last year. Real excited because it was an hour long, and then it's putting a lot of people, putting making a lot of people eat crow because they didn't know Coco Brown could do an hour clean. Mm. Uh, mm. You know, I, I knew that. I want to yeah. present this to the panel. How hard or easy is it to if you're a dirty comedian to do clean mm. acts? It's really not hard if you know how to write your jokes. Exactly. I mean, I've had a great mentor, um, Darso, the mm-hmm. fat doctor, Blegemon, and he taught me when I first started that you write your jokes clean. Mm-hmm. You can dirty them up later. Yeah. You don't write curse words. Because if that's all you've got, you have no jokes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know, most you know, most of my jokes can just be cleaned up. You know, mm-hmm. I curse in my act because you just got the people in the audience that want to hear a couple of shit, damn motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and see, and my take was, I wanted to get paid. Yeah. Care. So yeah. If, mm-hmm. if if a church, I had a trip. My man, uh, uh, shout out to uh, uh, Bishop Clark in Oakland. Mm-hmm. And he came to a club. I don't know why he was at this particular club. And he saw me. <laughs> I had a lot of pastors at my shows, honey. Laughing the hardest. He said, Can you do your show clean? Yep. I said, You paying? Mm-hmm. And he said, Yeah. And I did it yeah. Easter Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. The exact same. You yeah. see me do yeah. regular. Because as a comic, you ha- especially a black comic, you got to be able to flow. Yeah. Absolutely. No matter I mean, what. I did Mega Fest last year because Bishop T.D. Jakes is a fan of mine. Right. Yeah. And you know mine. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> we can go real left. Yeah. And then, you know, Yolanda Adams took me on tour with her. I mean, oh, she did? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's just, you know, it's worth You're missing like, opportunities if you can. Yeah. The thing is, people will try to pigeonhole you because I have people going, Coco Brown, clean. I'm like, honey, I'm a comedian. Yeah. Yeah. I got to get understand. This money. I'm not a comic. I'm yeah. a comedian. Yeah. Okay. And it's a difference. Yeah. And it's you like. Know, 
It's like you said, you you write the jokes. Like even Richard Pryor, that was like the seasoning on the stage. Right. His cuss words. Because he started right. clean. Yeah. He started like Bill Cosby Lane. He was like, fuck it, I want to cuss. Right. When you take the chicken out of yeah. the pack, you wash it first, exactly. don't you? Yeah. You don't, you don't just season it and throw it in yeah. the oven? Yeah. I, I do. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, this, this you one. must got some white this on one. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I saw somebody wash the chicken and I saw the dirt come off. I was like, <gasps> Nigga, Speedy what? got high blood pressure for his high Speedy, blood pressure. Speedy, you don't wash the chicken. <laughs> no, I do. Beach? I said I do. I said I saw someone you do, do now. Oh. He got rickets. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, how you old did you, did you do about rickets? <laughs> <laughs> you know you got rickets. <laughs> Eating that dirty chicken. <laughs> Your grandmother tell you that. As soon as you walk, what's wrong with you? You got rickets? Mm? What the fuck is rickets? It's in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it's like remember they used to tell you if you ate the uh the watermelon seed, yeah. the, the, it would grow in your stomach. Uh-huh. Grow in your stomach. Yeah. yeah, and my grand, you can eat that seed, you're gonna get a wild. I said in my stomach, granny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Not knowing this shit. <laughs> real. All right, so you now have you thought about doing or directing and writing? Has that gotten to you yet? Or? It's beginning. It's beginning. I've had a lot of people approach me about producing projects, and I've looked at some projects. I mean, no disrespect to them, because they were great projects. They just weren't right for me at the time. But it's something I would like to get into. I would love to direct one day. I study oh. Tyler. I study John. I study you know, every director I've ever had. The, you know, Seth MacFarlane. I, I study all of them when I'm working. I don't just focus on my lines a lot of times. When I'm sitting off set and I don't have you know, any roles, any part or whatever, I'm sitting in the cut watching the director because it's something I would love to do one day. Okay, what did um, you learn from Tyler? Um, being the king of your castle mm. because I've been on sets where there's too many chiefs and not enough Indians and nothing gets done. And mm. I've learned from Tyler there's one chief. And, you, right. and you've got to be that person, that leader mm. when it comes to directing and producing your project so that you know it gets done. You're not dragging your talent for hours because everybody has an opinion. I understand that, but when you are the chief you know, uh, you, uh, your, your reservation, mm-hmm. it's your word. Your word is law, and I've learned that. But then I've also learned from someone like um, John Singleton, when you have someone that has a special gift, a special talent, you need to let that shine, no matter what's on that script. Gotcha. Give them the ability to shine that talent, mm-hmm. you know. Seth MacFarlane, same thing. It's like, you know, when I did Ted 2, I came on set knowing my lines. We did it a couple of times. He said, he said okay, go, go. And I said, what? He said, do what you do. And I'm like, but. You mean like just ad lib? He said, yeah, I trust you. And I'm like, whoa. Mm. But that gave me the confidence that I was just off the cuff. So a lot of stuff you saw in the movie was improv. Yeah. Because I felt confident. I was given, I was knighted. And, you know, Tyler's done that for me, you know. And, you know, John giving me the ability now to show people my dramatic side. It's like, that's for me as a director. If I was ever to direct, I'm going to make sure that I pay attention to my talent and know what their gifts are so that I utilize them. And also get her done. Yeah, I just did. <laughs> I just shot a pilot called <clears throat> Rolling with uh, JoJo. Anyway, I saw that. I saw. Congratulations and, uh, on that. Yeah. So when I, this young man I, that was directing, and, and you know, directors are very sensitive about this shit, very They're much about their writing. So I do, I do their version, mm-hmm. and then I'll go. You know what? You think it would? You have to let them feel it. I said, you think it'd be fun if we do this that, and the other? And they go, Yeah, speed, go for it. And then I said, Well, let me do a couple. Mm-hmm. Let me just wing it. Mm-hmm. And I can't. But that's recognizing your yeah, talents, yeah, gifts, yeah. and recognizing what they bring to the. But show. I try not so to step on because I know writers, they get directors. Like, you, yeah. you have some you writers. Yes, yes. 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 You have Even some though writers. you're like, nigga, I made you funny. Yeah, that's not what. Yeah. I wrote. that's not what I wrote. Yeah, you know, I had a really good conversation a long, long time ago with uh, a very big name comedian, and you know, he's acting and stuff like that. And he said in the beginning, you know, he was funnier than most of the writers. Oh, yeah. And he would ad lib, and they would get so upset. Yeah. And then those directors that were smart enough to realize, this is what this person does for a living. Yeah. This is what they do. I saw that, and I hate him saying his name half the time. But you know, when I worked on a Jamie Fox show, he would, Fox would do, and which he really learned it from in Living Color, because in Living Color was, I don't care what they wrote in that script. Mm-hmm. Kenny would walk in and go do it, you know, get out. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they just get out, and then they take what the, what the get out was. And so Fox bought that over, and I would watch him mm-hmm. pretty much ad lib the whole thing. Now his writers <laughs> knew, nigga, you work for me. Mm-hmm. So if I'm making you funny, you're going to get the credit as the writer. Mm-hmm. And he would just go for it. You mm-hmm. do the first one the way they want to. That mm-hmm. second take, yeah, nigga, he he take off. And then I saw that's okay. You're able to do that when they know that you actually know the lines. Yeah. Sometimes people are taking off because they don't know the fucking lines. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, and the thing you forget is that the other actor knows, knows his cue. Yeah. Right. And if he don't and hear his cue, things in a different direction, yeah, those motherfuckers are good. They'll be like, yep. 
Yeah, That's something Tyler did, he did with me like first season. He said, Coca, I trust you're funny. He goes, and if you think you can make something funnier, make it funny. He said, just don't go too left that the other actor doesn't know where you're going. <laughs> yeah. And you and I've been on sets with actors like that yeah. who decide, I can be funny too. Yeah. But then we're talking about, you know, let's go and see Big Mama at the hospital and all of a sudden now we're going to an R. Kelly concert. Well, you, you done took the whole show. <laughs> I can't follow that. With, what are we going to do about Big Mama funeral? No, because we had a car. I mean, you know, just you've got to understand how to know how to stay in line. Mm -hmm. with the gist of the show and the and the script and what's going on but you can still up the ante now if you just tuned in uh, Coco Brown's in the building our fans that are listening tell us something about you they don't know mm, something I don't know they don't know I am a nerd yeah I'm a big old nerd Okay. I am. People, nerd. people, people see what me. What kind as of nerd? Though, like? I like gadgets. I like oh, to I build it. things. Yep. I like to read. I read incessantly, and I read the craziest crap. Like I'll read popular mechanics. I, like I'm like, <laughs> the book. Yes. I know. <laughs> like I'm constantly wanting to learn and explore, and I'm really a nerd. I mean, people think that they see me as Jennifer on Tyler Perry, and they think I'm this hood chick or whatever. And they see me being funny and sassy. I am so shy and such a nerd. I would no. rather just go into my hole and just, yeah, I am. So if you weren't doing what you're doing now, what would be your alternate career? At this point, I'd probably be a high school principal or a guidance counselor. Uh, I really would. I can see somebody going, uh, let me tell you about yourself. <laughs> Some position you could throw right. somebody out of class. Get on out right. of my school. You know, I, I would probably be that, or I'd be a lawyer. You know, not I, a techie, not a probably not a techie as per se. I love interacting with people, but I like teaching. Mm -hmm. Teaching is like my 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 passion up there with stand up and. So how'd you get into stand up? It, it was it was thrown in my lap. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. I was working at Ringling Brothers, honey, in corporate offices. What the fuck? Yep. <laughs> Barnum and Bailey has his in corporate Vienna. offices in Vienna, Virginia. Barnum and Bailey. Yep. And I was working in that advertising department, and a friend of mine from college. Um, took me to a barbecue and I ended up meeting Chris Paul at that barbecue that's now on the Tom Joyner Morning Show. At the time he was on Donnie Simpson. Mm. And he had a comedy club and we were just talking and he said, you funny. He said, you thought about doing stand up? And I was like, no. And he was like, come on, I'm at Greenland, club. brother. Like, you know, make, I got a 401k, <laughs> dude. I got a benefit, okay? <laughs> And he said, come out of my club, it's open mic night, I was at the Sis night, and I went, and I just got bit. It was just fun. Mm -hmm. And then what I just- it, How did you do night? your yeah. first yeah. night? First night, I bombed up until I got real. Mm -hmm. I went up there trying to be a comic. Okay. Uh -huh. But I, you know, I'd watch Def Jam and mm -hmm. all that stuff coming up in college and stuff. And I went up there trying to be a comic, and they were just kind of looking at me. And this lady, uh, looked at me and I said, am I not funny? And she said, no. And somehow I just went into this whole spiel. I said, let me tell you what's funny. How about you work for Ringling Brothers? You got to deal with nuggets. <laughs> and everybody just started rolling. <clears throat> and I was just like, oh, so that's what it is. So when I came off stage, who became my mentor on um, The Fat Doctor was there. Oh, and yeah. he pulled me aside and he said, you've got it. You just got to be authentic. Mm. He said, talk about you. He said, when you were up there trying to be funny, they was like, we, we don't get it. But when you went up there and you just went on this whole spiel about dealing with monkeys and clowns, <laughs> <laughs> everybody hollered, you know? So you had to deal with the monkeys? No, you didn't. Well, not necessarily. What I did, I did the advertising. So I did the oh. billboards and the commercials and stuff That's like you. that. Yeah, yeah, that was me. The commercials that came on TV. Shut the fuck and, up. And it's funny, LA was one of my markets. I would come out here and make sure all the billboards were up when they yeah they would be in the hood forum. they always put the billboards the forum, yep. at the forum and so me and my brother back <laughs> really in the day about this man. well we would go to the forum because yeah. they could they would hire you to work mm -hmm. because they didn't have enough people to bring all the shit in so me and my brother go hang out and y'all want to work yes yeah. we didn't want to watch the fucking circus I don't want to hear about mm -hmm. your circus life I want to ask Coco <laughs> <laughs> we we I've known you for a while we did uh, the Watch Coffee yeah. back in the day oh yeah. To, to like the up and coming female comics, like it seems like you've always known your lane or you figured out what you wanted your lane to be early. Mm -hmm. So what kind of advice would you give to like the up and coming female comics that are out there trying to figure it out? Jesus, I'm yeah. sorry. I thought I cut my phone. That's my motto oh, too. Hey, cash hey, rules. You got the music around. now. So that's your motto, cream. <laughs> cash cash rules, rules everything around, around me, me, sweetie. Um, um, you know, for me, you know, I was fortunate to come up in the game around cats you know, like J.B. Smoove and Talon mm -hmm. and Mike Epps and all of them, you know, back in the day when I was just a little young grasshopper. Mm -hmm. And they never let me be a female comic. Mm -hmm. 
They never let me keep that. They never let me have that moniker. I remember Talent one time putting me on stage after Mike Epps and Tony Roberts and Will Vince and mm. J.B. Smoove. And I'm in the back in tears. And I'm like, what are you doing? He said, you ain't going to be no little fluffy female comic. You're going to be a comedian. Now get up there and do what you do. Mm. Mm. And out of fear, I went up there and ripped. But I'm so glad he did that for me because that was the lane he put me in that I am a comedian. Mm. And don't just because you got breasts doesn't mean you can only be in one you, lane. You, you do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, shut up, so do you speak. <laughs> Manities. <laughs> it got so now, dark in here yeah. to shade, honey. Now, tell our, uh, people how is it to be a single mom doing all this? Mm. Mm. It's 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 tough, you know, because I, I hate having to leave my baby. I am the sole breadwinner. I yeah. have a staff, and one of those you know. no comics. When we get a TV show, we get that so that we can go on the road every weekend. Mm -hmm. That's where that good money come from. Mm -hmm. And you being on the road a lot, do you mm -hmm. take your son with you? I or? do, oh, I okay. do. I, I have a I have a four day rule. I don't leave him longer than four days. Nice. Oh, okay. Cool. So a lot of times I do the comedy clubs. He's with me, and you know he's three, so he's at that age. He's not going to miss geometry <laughs> if I take him out of place. <laughs> that road, though, you gonna say, and hey, you're be running. Uh, Mama! You know, One minute. I'm exactly. You know, the hotel rooms be a little toe up, but you know, <laughs> but you know, I take him with me. But when he gets older, you know, that's why you know, mommy is really focusing on trying to get on a really good show. You know, because I mean, how you know, we we've, we've had a good run with for better or worse, and I hope it keeps going. But you never know. So yeah. you always got to have an ace in the hole. Mm -hmm. So is L.A. your home? Yeah, I'm by coastal now. Oh. I have a home in Georgia that I'm at mostly now, and okay. then I'm still because that's what the big house is. Yeah. This is the bullshit. <laughs> yeah, 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 big house, plantation in Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> you hear it? Casa de Coca, Casa yeah. de Coca. So, anything are you working on currently? That's your project. That. Well, as of right now, I'm working on a new webinar that I'm doing. They now are doing it where um, you can uh, do seminars on the web and mm -hmm. people can Skype in. Mm -hmm. And I was doing my acting class, which is called From Stage to Screen, and it started off me just coaching comics for auditions mm -hmm. on teaching them how to uh, Cole read, right? take their, huh? Cole reads, right? Yeah, Cole reads and scene study. Yeah. Because, you know, right? you know. <laughs> Book the show, nigga. Didn't I just say that? About oh my god! They didn't have you, know, you read. Oh, go ahead. Yes, comics didn't. Comics, a lot of comics don't realize that what you do on stage does not apply. No. Mm -hmm. In the audition room. So I was coaching comics, and then I got asked to do a class, and I did a few of them. So now I'm about to do a webinar um, called From Stage to Screen, which is teaching people basically, you know, how to be comedic actors. Know your timing. Know your character. Mm -hmm. You know, know when to be funny. Know when to fall back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes you're not the star of the show. You know, it's a lot of things yeah. that people don't understand and they don't understand why they get these opportunities and they lose them. It's like there's there's, there's, there's levels to this shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's rules. And how do people rules. get to that or any watch? They can hit me up at my email, one funny mama. That's O N E funny mama M O M M A at gmail dot com. They can also hit me on my website, Coca C O C O A Brown, the number four life dot com, and you'll see the little link there and it should be coming out the end of September. And how long have you been doing comedy? Oh God! It'll be 17 years in April. Wow! Right? Yeah, right. yeah I've been doing this. When's your next show? When's the next show? Like, where this Saturday, you? actually, if they're up in the Bay Area, up in Stockton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be in Stockton. Yep, I'll be. I just, you know, I'll be in Stockton. Oh, you're doing Tay's room? I am. Okay. Uh huh. Tay Lemme's room. Hot show. I'm doing that Saturday in Stockton, and then um, I'm going to be at the Denver Improv in a couple of weeks for a weekend. Going to be in D.C. at the Howard Theater in a couple of weeks, Minneapolis, you know. So. so do you have groupies on the road? I do. I have a dude that whenever I come to Texas, no matter where I am in Texas, he brings me barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Not the barbecue. <laughs> just hey, the sauce. Brings me barbecue hey, sauce. Hey, little got, mama, don't take that sauce like right that. I got jars on this man. It's good, though. I'm hey, used to like, it. I got the ribs at the house, but I'm going to bring the yeah. sauce to you. <laughs> <laughs> and you figure out how you're going to get to these ribs. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he does. He loves me. He brings me ribs. All the, he brings me those, that sauce all the time. What, what was the kinkiest thing somebody ever done? St well, I've definitely got the dick pics oh, in my God. DM on the Twitter, and Facebook. Yeah, I've got Un those. unwanted dick pics. Yes, just hey, you, you crossed my mind. Bam! I'm like, oh wow. How uh, you send an unsolicited dick? <laughs> uh, yeah. Charles, thank Good you. Good morning. I've gotten those, you know, and I've gotten marriage proposals and wow. with you know, the ring, without a ring, what? Just some dude. You know, one dude just asked me. Another dude was like, "Come to Africa, I'll take care of you." I <laughs> uh, can't go back. Hey, you know, and I'll take care of you. You won't want for nothing. Then I had another guy do a video.
video and was like, "Will you marry me?" Sung to me, "Will you marry me?" Oh and, wow. goodness! You know, I mean, you get some, you get some. Right now, what's okay, fucking y'all's me out? Away, my <laughs> groupies just no. be in the back. Like, I have all the so foreigners now. No, mine's be like, "You want me to fuck him and him?" Okay, cool. Just oh, <laughs> me first. And do that. Oh my gosh! Okay. Me and then do Johnny. You, know. you don't get them ones. Be like, I just want to fuck. They don't get that crass. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, the dick pic, come on. Yeah. yeah that's, you, I, that's, that's what it's for. I mean, yeah. Pick that's, I mean, exactly. Yeah. What are you saying? And, and have you ever, like, okay? No. Ew. Have you ever <laughs> met any? Have, have you ever oh, met any? Like, me neither. Me neither. Yeah, I, 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 I have you home. ever met anybody on the road that you took interest in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dick pick four. What's your name again? I mean, yeah, you know, you sometimes you connect with somebody on the road, you know. <laughs> she started blushing. Did <laughs> <little kid. laughs> you just tilt your head? <laughs> you know, I just you know. She did a giggle. I ain't always been somebody, mama. <laughs> <laughs> That is the funniest shit I've ever. <laughs> Coca Brown's in the bill, and it's pronounced Coca. Yes. Because a lot of people say Coco. Yeah, but I don't care as long as that check right. I don't yeah. Care. I don't care. And how'd your mama come up with Coco? <laughs> it wasn't actually given by my mama. Oh. A comedian named James Bean gave me that stage name. Bean, Coco. See, there it is. Yep. Coco Bean. I, I came off stage one time uh, when I was starting doing up. comedy in D.C. And this comic named James Bean handed me a napkin. And I opened it up and he goes, you, he said, you have too much energy and fire on stage. To be Carol. To be <laughs> you know, your name. He said, use this name from now on. And it was Coco Brown. And nice. I just said, sure. And that's uh, what's up. Shut nice. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine actually came from a nickname. I was a hyper kid. <laughs> when I was little and they had no ADD. medicine, so they gave you nicknames. Like, <laughs> Speedy, sit your ass, boo boo. Could have been worse, honey. You could have been stank. Mm. Yeah. Could have been doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> could have been stutter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mumbles. <laughs> no, seriously. So where can people find you, follow you? Oh, they can yeah. find me. You know what? I'm going to tell you this. I'm all over social media. So if you just Google me, just put in Coca, C-O-C-O-A Brown. And please add the A because if you don't, you will get a porn star. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. I found that out. You know, you're just crazy. This is real talk. I got a call for this woman. Mm -hmm. And they was like, you know, we're looking for Coca Brown. We have a gig of seventy five hundred for a one day shoot. I said, hell yeah, I'm there. And they said, great. <laughs> they said, now, um, if you're willing to do anal, we can make it. Did like say what? And I said, what did you say, <laughs> motherfucker? And they said, if you're willing to do anal, we'll make it 10. And I said, I don't, what kind of comedy club is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a club in your ass. <laughs> I'm not a kid. I'm the club in your ass. I come to find out it's a porn star named Coco Brown. And uh, there's also a uh, poet. And a poet. Now, he and That's I my boy. Have, uh, have called each other because we've gotten each other's gigs. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's funny. Yeah, Coco Brown, he's very, this nigga can go. Yeah. Co he, he can go. Mm -hmm. He got masks. We just spell our names different. You coca. Yeah, I'm C O C O A. He's C O C O A. Wait a minute, wait, you had three C's in it. C O C O A. Yeah, C O C O A. He said three C's, three C's in it. Uh, Reading no, is fundamental. It. Oh, C O A. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Man. He, like he got it that time. I take, okay. I take umbrage in how you t talking about me right now. I love you, Speedy. Oh, you knew what I meant. Mm -hmm. I hate you. She knows. Mm -hmm. we, we, that's the word of the day. We got a word of the day. We, we help Speedy. Umbridge. 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 We're helping Speedy expand his. Not me, the fans. Speedy the and America. Speedy and America. Oh, I am Speedy thoroughly impressed with your vernacular. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, he's lost. Do you know what vernacular <laughs> means? Lost me yet impressed. <laughs> 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 lost me <being> thorough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for hanging out. We know you Thank y'all for Listen, having anytime me, you want to come back, come I on. I will, now that I know what y'all are. <laughs> yeah, we in the we bunker. In the cut. Up and down Chris, all like I'm selling ass. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the place they want to put the thing Where in my You know where Moore's Media is? Yeah, they they could have the $7,500 shoot. Listen. <laughs> Speedy done part. set me up. <laughs> and you know, if you ever need a comic on the road. Oh I, I know. Go and put your plug in. Okay, yeah, nigga, I do it. They don't. Everybody come in. This I moment. know you do. Yeah, somebody <laughs> calls me anyway. Uh, <laughs> they be doing it before me. I be like, what? Up? Oh, I'm gonna just show. I'm gonna just start showing up the comic show, going, "Hey, I'm in town. You, you know, can I get a guest spot? Yeah. Like, Food? No, I'm in no, <laughs> no. I'll be right at the border, going, <laughs> really? <laughs> Stopping at Detroit because your passport. Thank you. Again, check out Tyler Perry show. Still on. Yeah, comes on September. We're back September 11th mm -hmm. on OWN, and um, Ted too still in. So you met Oprah. Yes. I met her too. Yeah. <laughs> no, her, her. Did you pee a little bit? Because I peed a little bit. I was like, tell so, I mean, I, I know we got. Bit. Tell the truth. When you around Oprah, you feel like, nigga, I take the world over. 
Yeah. I kicked it with her, and I was like, and <laughs> I called my mother, like, Mom, I'm here with Oprah. She said, put her on the phone. I kicked her on the phone. <laughs> she don't know you. She put, put her on the guy. You don't talk to my mama. And my mother uh, talked to her. But Oprah, Oprah make did. you feel like, nigga, you could do it all. My mother embarrassed the hell out of me. We were at a Tyler Perry function, and that's the first time I, my mom had met Oprah. And first thing out of her mouth, I said, Mom, this is Oprah Winfrey. She said, oh, my goodness, you told Oprah to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, mother, mother. She's done shit since then, mama. I said, mom. She knows she said that. You know your parents always get mad. She knows she said that. Don't act like she don't know. Really, mom? <laughs> what did Oprah say? Oprah just busted out laughing. That's she just man. laughed. Nigga, she got me. We sitting there, and she goes, because uh, she asked Jay, how, how you lose weight for your different characters? He's like, mm-hmm. I just get in there and lose weight. And Oprah said, well, me and Speedy probably need to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Did Oprah just clown me? What the yes. fuck? In front of everybody. Yo, she will, she will slide some shade on you yes. so quick, and yes. you'll be like, did I just get red by yeah. Oprah? She, she, will, she got joke. Like, she, you was Fox said happy, something though. about being flying. She's like, oh, you still fly commercial? Because you know Oprah yeah. has her own jet. Yeah. So... Mm-hmm. Her and Gail laughing, and we going, oh, oh, bitch, you clowning? <laughs> she got a jet? 24 uh, Yeah, she got her own plane. Uh, yeah. She got her own she, she airport. She's a billionaire. Yeah. She says she has her own airport. She does. This is the Oprah River Airport. We don't know nothing about it. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> only she can land just and take off. Just pop up in any city she want to go. A whole bunch of dudes going, just come on in. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. It was thank fun you. having you. Thank, thank you so much for having time. me. All right. Check thank her out, sister doing things. And we definitely want you to be on that show. Yeah. It's, okay. Because you'll call us. It's the all new <laughs> rollout show. We're going to take a quick break <laughs> and we'll be right back. We are back. It's the all new rollout show. Speedy and Friends. And I'm Speedy in the building we have. The Poetess. In the building we Got have. Got your boy Kente in the building. And in the building. By popular demand. The one. Hysterical. <laughs> the only. <laughs> fresh from Richmond. Yo, California. Oh made it out alive. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Shout out to Johnny Mac. What up, Speedy? Poetess. Hi, Johnny Jim. Mac. <laughs> I don't like speaking to two light-skinned dudes. I'm going to go Oh, uh, We should have probably divided y'all Divide up a little skins. bit. Yeah, this no, is kind of thing thing weird. One thing I learned from Johnny Mac, however you do it, you keep it that way. That's true. The wheels, nigga, we try. We go to Fox <laughs> Hole, and they moved Johnny Mac. He said, no, no, I said next Speedy. Yeah. I said next Speedy. I can't, you That's can't, what I said. I can't do it. You can't do it. I'm talking about on the road, nigga. We, the, right. the man said, no. in heaven, I got to sit next to Speedy right in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, now, Shamar, you got to scooch over. Nigga. Yeah, you got you to gotta scooch on over. I, Johnny Mac is it. What's up, Speed? It's good to see you. Jack, I'm going to just give you, fans love you, but they don't know you like I know you. I know Speed. Johnny McIntyre, if you in this car and your phone ring, he bring this up you every better time. not answer it. Because Johnny, Johnny will pull over and go, you just going to talk. Well, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Said, I'm on my phone, nigga. Have you ever been in a car and you can only hear half the conversation? What is my conversation, Johnny? <laughs> so all you hear is, uh-huh, yeah, 630. <laughs> I'll bring the wings. <laughs> That's, it's my conversation, nigga. That's, he got mad at me for being on the phone. Like, what, what if he puts him on speakerphone? Is that better? I don't know him. <laughs> I mean, everybody got their pet peeves. I just, it's it, not Speedy does it all the time. And it's like 19 phone calls. It's, it's so Johnny can do like, he'll go. We're only going to Starbucks go. and it's like 19 phone calls. I'm like, nigga. This nigga be like, really? <laughs> I can't take it. That's somebody from a nosy family. Yeah. Who know the, <laughs> nigga, tell me, tell me what you're talking about. Who is that? <laughs> well, there's 10 people in my family, so you got to hear the whole conversation. Hey, hey, I, I just don't like, I don't like being in a car with somebody who's texting. <laughs> It's their phone, John. No electronics in your car? No. I heard that shit. Take it. No, I don't want you to be... You just on Instagram who ain't saying shit. (laughs) And now I can't... Now I got to wait for you to finish looking at your Instagram picture for I can talk. (laughs) You riding with me. You you know the term shotgun comes from like the stagecoaches and shit when they was like taking money across country. Shotgun means you had to ride with a shotgun and pay attention. Yeah. (laughs) So how you 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 ride shotgun in your phone? And you ain't paying attention. Now we're in an Instagram uh, collision because of, I'm trying to look over at your page. Now we dead. <laughs> Johnny really got a shotgun in his car. Like, nigga, you sitting there, see, you better put this shotgun in your lap. It's a 380. Another <laughs> shit, y'all don't know about Johnny Mac. Now, John, so he get caught up in some shit. And, and Johnny went to jail, but he wasn't mad because he went to jail. He was mad because he said, he go jail with, uh, he got pulled over. Johnny said, nigga, I was mad because y'all niggas out here having fun, and I ain't doing, fuck that. <laughs> y'all ain't gonna have fun without me. We, we in the limo, and the limo gets pulled over, <laughs> and at this time, my life wasn't cool. My life wasn't yeah, correct. Yeah, I was yeah. still, on, you know, doing some, doing some shit. I had some shit I was running from, whatever, allegedly. 
<laughs> and uh, the, the police pull us over like, man, fuck the police. These motherfuckers. Like, uh, nigga, you ain't gonna ruin my summer. <laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> shut the fuck up. And do what he said. And do what he said. Because if he asked me two questions, what's your name? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Johnny, start telling on nigga. His name is Donald Caldwell. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kente Williams. Hey, Scott. hey. And you ain't finna give no nickname around right, Johnny. Name. Hey, no. <laughs> I'm not going to jail. So, here the, here the, here the topper. I get put over to another comment. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so I do say, okay, we're going to take the car. I said, I ain't got no way. I called Johnny. Johnny did just like that. He said, hey, what's up, Speed? I said, Johnny, I'm out here stuck. I need a ride. Okay, where you at? What happened? I got pulled over, and uh, I got we got pulled over. The police, hello, John, hello, <laughs> hello. In my and I defense. called back, and it went straight to voicemail. I said, this motherfucker, he don't call me to the next day and say, you all right? I said, John, you're back. You're all right? Kent, here's the thing. We went to the same party. Uh -huh. We both had the same amount of drinks. Uh -huh. Now, yeah. I'm, I'm on eight and a half. I barely get home. Yeah. yeah, you ever been that like you, you? You feel like he's trying to set you up. Like you want me to come? And you back gonna in call me with the cops? <laughs> yeah, and say come get me, nigga. I barely made it home. <laughs> I didn't even get. I said uh, the police just pulled us over, dog. And I, you know, you just going, yeah. but you hear that yeah. silence is not supposed yeah. to be there because yeah. the folk. What's I was phone? upset. Hang on. And nigga, the motherfucker, I said, John. I was upset. Yeah. And then it went straight to voicemail. Hey, it's Johnny Mac. I'm not in, right? I said, you raggedy motherfucker. And the police went, do you have somebody come to get you? No. Because what happens when you come get it? The yeah. cop's going to ask you, what's your name? Who are you? I'm drunk. Yeah. They want to smell you. What What have you been drinking, sir? What have you No, been? he ain't got to ask me that because it's still in the back seat. <laughs> you the oh, back in the days, Porters, yeah. I used to take the drink home with me. From the club. <laughs> From the club. Glass and everything. Y'all ain't gonna use all I've these never bottles. bought a glass, period. <laughs> and you got a whole I got cabinet. a whole cabinet for so they all different sizes. They all different sizes. <laughs> <laughs> you got Carlos and Charlie's uh, niggas is is a townhouse. You got a townhouse cup. <laughs> I, I was the king of if I was with Porters, I put the drink in her purse and we just go and get in the car. <laughs> That's what we did. Everybody did that. You got a phone call. Yeah, we have a phone call. Call her what's your name and where you calling from? No. Turn your Turn your um. Turn your house down. Turn your house yeah, down. pull your antenna up and. <laughs> we and pull on. Your, yeah, you're on. Oh my God. Who is this? We on. Yes, you're on. Who's this talking? Oh my hey, God. It's speed. Who's this talking? It's speed. It's too early for all that cussing. Who mama is it? Johnny Mac. <laughs> it better not be mama. It's a call from heaven. <laughs> Johnny Mac's cousin. The, how, how you doing, baby girl? What's your name? Oh, hell no. That's my sister. Hang up the phone right now. Hang up the phone right now. That's your now. sister for real? Yeah, my sister called in the office. Y'all cussing in my sister office. Two, are the mics hot? They sound hot. You done lost three, four contracts all this time. How cussing. you doing, Speedy. sis? I told you stop all How the cussing. How you doing, sis? Oh, you can't cuss on this show? No, yeah, you can. So yeah, why you would you invite me? I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. How you doing, sis? We got miners in here and you guys cussing in the morning, uh, this early in the morning. Them miners have heard all the of that. Them miners are committing misdemeanors right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Them miners are in Oakland. They have heard all of that by third grade. Oh, she from Oakland? Yeah. yeah. yeah but no, he didn't tell my sister. You, you didn't my tell sister, your sister what kind Shonda of show this is? Yeah, she knew what kind of show it was. She heard us the other day. I, I had no idea. Yeah, she trying to act all. She been to church on Sunday. Well, we met your daddy the other day. <laughs> well, you know you weren't calling to no prayer meeting. <laughs> 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 now with Johnny Mac on this no, I cursed now I wonder plan. you were on your best behavior yeah, you know, uh, when we that, were in Napa that's, that's my uh, that's my uh, callback when I get to heaven I'll be like Shonda in there yeah, tell her Kente outside she's like no you went to y'all was in Napa yeah y'all went about a Raiders camp I Raiders, performed there Raiders uh, yeah. Speedy always bragging on this mediocre shit I performed there <laughs> Napa's all about the wine country don't might really go to, and, and the Raiders thank you sister he said and the Raiders and the Raiders we look good What's up, Porter? I came down here for Porter's. I'm going to talk to you because yeah. I was busy. I had to put, postpone uh, a meeting because I and told I Porter's I was going to come. I because I miss you, Johnny Mac. It was, it was and a, the fans miss you. It was, a nice, miss it was a nice little five-figure deal, though. But you know what? Because of Porter's. <laughs> This nigga gonna get on the phone while I'm on this nigga right here, man. You just told him a minute ago. Jesus Christ. I didn't know you been doing. We not in the car. No, We have nigga. another call. Call her. What's your name and where you calling from? You need to set some rules up, Porter's. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Johnny Mac. Hey, what's up? Oh, it's mom, sound How like. You doing, oh, that's your mom. How you doing? Why is my voice so high? <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> gay. <laughs> you know, we when your mama called. Well, well, hey, at least I can win the Arthur Ashe Award. <laughs> 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 that's the only one? Mac, yes, ma'am. She says she just calling to say hi to Johnny Mac. Oh, you don't want to talk to me, Miss Lundy? <laughs> Not at all. I love Portis, mom. 
Porter's mom is the sweetheart. Yeah, we met her this week. Uh, I went to... Uh, She's uh, really a nice lady. Uh, Vallejo. I didn't know Vallejo was Compton. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. I didn't know that. It's like Compton in the 50s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got a sock hop and a gang banging. I'm like, y'all got both. I said, nigga, there's a whole lot of wooden houses around there. Yeah, it, it, it got bad. B back in the day, uh, Vallejo was like where you would escape to. Mm-hmm. You know, you Richmond guy. Get like, away. Yeah. So you made a little money. You got a good job. You went to Vallejo. Okay. And if you got a little bit better money, a bigger bonus, you went out to Fairfield. Yeah. And that's my <coughs> father's at right now. We're talking about yeah. the ladies. Yeah, we're talking about the ladies. But now it's like, here, here's my thing. What is so great about being in Thank the you, hood Mama, for and bragging on I'm from the hood? What is, how do you, people like, because people like they want to get, um, what's you call it, uh, street, street cred. cred. Yeah. Because they want to feel like, okay, even though you're not a part of it, like, oh no, I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm born and raised, this, that, and the other, or you still want to live there to make people feel, okay, I'm still being true to my thing, but nigga, you need to get out. Cause but you, to be true to yourself, and I just recently read this in the Bible, black people, we are supposed to be successful. Yep. If you read your Bible. You read that in the Bible? <laughs> yep. The Bible you read from? Hold on. King James. Johnny Mac read the Bible. That's the first part. Oh, uh, what Bible? Johnny Mac reads the Bible. I, yeah, I read it every Why? day. I learned, I learned what not to do. <laughs> nah, <laughs> like, I'm going to commit adultery. So I mean, where I, in the Bible does it say black people supposed to be rich? We, what is that? I say successful. I say, say successful. rich. Yes. Successful is rich. No. Christ. Not necessarily. Right. It's no, whatever it's, your definition yeah, it got of success is. It's, no, near, it's near to it, but go ahead. No, you could be like... You can be like the head janitor. Okay, but you reach a level of success. What what, is, what page? It's tell us we're supposed to be prosperous and be in good health. What happened is we, as a as a race, a black people, we take like like if Speedy dropped out of college, it's supposed to be a shocker. Mm -hmm. What Speedy didn't go to college? Yeah. Speedy didn't graduate? Oh my god! What he did was he took his grant money <laughs> and went Bam. to the bar and bought some money. grams. Right. <laughs> I'm supposed to be shocked and dismayed that yeah. that you dropped out of college or you dropped out of high school or or or, or, or Speedy went to jail. Yeah. Like Speedy went to jail, impossible. I know it's it's supposed to be a shocker, but nowadays it's the norm. Yeah. Mm. Yep. And 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 we supposed to be in great health. People look at me like, oh man, you look good. You working out? Whatever. I'm like, you supposed to work out? Yeah. You're supposed to look good. I'm, I, I didn't even point at you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> but you're supposed to, too. You, you look great. You're like a, a nice little diet dinosaur. You look great. <laughs> <laughs> diet I dinosaur. see my nephews in there, man. Look at this. Look at this boy. He's 10 years old now. Look at Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, you be going to jail soon. <laughs> You just yeah. said he ain't supposed to go, John. He's gonna be shocked. But when he go. He gonna, I'm gonna be shocked. Like, oh no! I, I was there when he was born. <laughs> I was there when he was born. I was there when he was born. So I, I wanted to get that. My, my, the reason I came down there, I, I wanted to say that because I'm I just finished working on a um a TV show pilot I wrote for an individual at a, a major network, and and when I came in the building, they were shocked that I came in the building. Like, you're the writer. Mm -hmm. I'm oh like, yeah, yeah. Motherfucking hunky. Yes, I'm the writer. Hunky. <laughs> Do it again. Motherfucking hunky. Because when I come in, Speedy, I come in with all my black. And, and, and shit. For those who don't know Johnny, like I know him, Johnny is exactly who he is now. And he ain't no different. <clears throat> he talk exactly like. Yeah. Like I always get. I don't never get offended by the word nigga, except when I'm with Johnny Mac. Because Johnny just said around whoever. <laughs> Look here, nigga. I'm saying. <laughs> he is First the of all, of, of, of NBC. It, it was Bill Clinton, Clinton and he didn't care. But but <laughs> they were just shocked that that these other white people brought in a black guy. Mm. They, they they had no idea that I was gonna be a black writer. Yeah, oh, yeah. and I, and I worked at so was it for a white show? Uh, it don't they, they call it multicultural. Yeah, no. yeah, in Hollywood, yeah. you sprinkle a few black brothers writers. in this multicultural. They be like, and he's got these braids. Oh my gosh, it comes. I think he's got it's a tattoo on his arm. And 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 I'm like, what happened when you think a black person couldn't write a yeah. sitcom? Yeah, yeah. Shit, they don't think well, black why why why, do, why we can't write a sitcom? Or a drama, and it was a major network. I'm like, you guys are supposed to have seeing black people writing scripts or seeing a black person uh, doing a movie should be the norm. Yeah, and it's not. It, it should be. You're right, Johnny. It's not. It's like going to Utah and you see that one black dude in the mall. You're like, you good? You good? You good? I hate yeah. that too. Speak. You ever see a black person? And you, it's only y'all two there, and he don't speak. I'd be yeah. like, motherfucker, you don't. <laughs> you see me working, nigga? Don't see, you better because at Paramount it's only like nine black people. Yeah, yeah, ten now with you. Yeah. And that's it's the, our whole show is black. So when I go to the cafeteria, they be looking at me, and I seen this one brother for like three months. He never spoke. <laughs> What'd you say? I know John. I, know you. I went over to him. I was like, "What's wrong with you?" Like, well, I said, "You haven't <laughs> spoke to me in three goddamn months, nigga." <laughs> I read the Bible. He said, "I ain't see you. I ain't see you." Exactly. I haven't seen you, motherfucker. You see me? <laughs> he did look down. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and he makes my fucking egg white omelet every morning. Like, <laughs> oh, he the nigga behind the the the, the exactly. 
You but when the white folks come out, how are you, Jim? Jim Johansson, hate, look at you. I hate oh, that. Oh man, how's, how's your kid? I hate that. That's that plantation mentality. I hate that. You need to slap okay. food on your plate. And when he finished with that white boy, I said, now why you never speak to me? What the fuck is your it, it happens a lot when you go to like the grocery store yeah. and to stores. Yeah. They're the people, the cashiers, they, hey, good morning. Did you find everything you need? Yeah. You, you come, come up. for a shotgun and you have it in the back. <laughs> then you come up and it's all silence of the land. Exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Most yeah. How you doing? Hmm. Y'all got topics? Yeah, we got topics. We did, I man. saved some we for saved you. We saved some for you. Uh, <laughs> no, please, please tell them the text you sent me last night. <laughs> oh, I sent Speedy a text. You know, it's football season. <laughs> I said, Speedy, I heard you had Caitlyn Jenner on your fantasy football team. <laughs> His position is balls deep. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Jim? I think it's a, first of all, yeah. I, knew I think it's, it's a disgrace to every woman in the That's what I said, too. Mm-hmm. I said the exact if you same are, thing. If you're a female. You should you, be outraged. You should be outraged. They put this. You know what gets to me? They keep talking about he's so beautiful. I keep saying he because it's a man. Yeah, because he ain't changed his voice. <laughs> yeah, he ain't changed his voice. He ain't cutting yeah. nothing off. In your body. Is man, is Manage. male, everything. He still so, got his dick. He ain't cut his thing off. So let me get this straight. So he still he got titties. Mm-hmm. Still got his penis. Yeah. Yeah. And he likes girls. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and he still does got that a, make he still him, got uh, his regular voice. Does that make him Dick Van Dyke? <laughs> 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 yeah, I got to think about that. Yeah, that was good. I like that one. Isaiah, you got to think about that. <laughs> Here's what I think about And the same people Keep saying he's so beautiful But when he was on Keeping up with the Kardashian They said oh my god He's hideous The surgeons went too far He looks plastic But now he gets some titties And a blonde wig And he's beautiful Mm -hmm. And and they photoshopped The motherfucking cover Don't ever think this You you know he got a reality show Yeah uh, Exactly And his mama said But here's the thing Speedy How you gonna have a reality show Because he's talking about He says "Um, I'm gonna be who I really am You got fake titties Fake implants Fake cast Fake hair How you been real that's true. How was how any of these augmentations considered to be real? Mm. I just dropped some knowledge on y'all. <laughs> yeah, you did. I just dropped some motherfucking knowledge. Yeah, I didn't know knowledge. Johnny was going to be that deep. <laughs> shout, out to, uh, shout out to continuation schools across America. <laughs> <laughs> it I actually took, worked. It actually worked. <laughs> what out. you got for us there, for this? Okay, for Johnny I have Mack, this one. No, it's for, out, no, for it's the table. Mack. Fuck that. It's Johnny Mac. It's your deck. Okay, uh, the sheriffs in... <laughs> Started off bad right there. <laughs> Johnny, Where's click. Wait, hello, yeah. Johnny? Hello, sheriff. Sure. You're going to say the, the police. Okay, you know? yeah, I'm going to say the police. <laughs> um, a Kentucky sheriff's office is circulating a flyer online offering drug dealers a free service <laughs> to help them eliminate their drug comp- <laughs> drug competitors. What do you mean by a free service? Johnny Mac? You're going to arrest everybody? What, what is another, a free? The, Franks, the, the they flyer on Facebook says it, the form, it's actually a form, <laughs> asking drug dealers to fill it out with information about their competition. So, yeah, so they can take they out your competition. To, oh, to, which, but, but what is the free service? In other words, I won't get arrested. Yeah. Apparently. It's but a nigga, you a damn program. fool. For, even a, if you saw this and you said, let me go, give me a pen. <laughs> McDonald's Ed, real, this man. is what the flyer actually Please says. That is. It says, attention drug dealers. Johnny uh, Mac, Johnny Mac. First of all, how, how did he get the information to the drug dealer? Oh, I'm, I'm on, out on the corner doing my thing. I, I'm cell not going to check my Wi-Fi. It's only, it's the, on, it's only it's the drug it's on dealers Facebook. that, that uh, follow them on Facebook. What? <laughs> Facebook. It says, is your drug dealing competition costing you money? <laughs> Boy, this is bullshit. You're lying. <laughs> real shit. <laughs> we offer a free service to help you eliminate your drug competition. The yeah. flyer reads, share, uh, the flyer read, Sheriff Pat Melton said the flyer was inspired by a similar post from a police department in Georgia that says we've got our community engaged. People are looking at it. Um, they're talking about it. And, you know, if we can get a good tip and a good drug dealer off the streets. It, I'm, I'm gonna be next. Yeah, well, that's so a, that, first of all. If I go down there and fill this out, yeah. Now they know I'm a drug dealer. So, so you have to you count. Yeah, I, want, I want to fill out. I just the told on myself. Yeah, I want to fill out the paperwork. Yeah, my competition but, uh, is getting hot on my heels. Yeah. Oh, I want to fill out the paperwork. Competition is what? Uh, I'm a drug dealer. Yeah. Oh, okay, but yeah. we have a sale for you. And you put your address and everything down there. Yeah. Your phone number. Your email. And they bust How you. How dumb is that? How dumb do they think drug dealers are? Apparently, they think they're real dumb. Apparently, it worked in Georgia. Tell you to try it. Yeah. Do I mean that's, that's the it dumbest. is getting their competition off the street? <laughs> and eventually, it's gonna get me off the street. Exactly. First of all, Johnny, why am I still on the street? Johnny, are you ever you ever engaged? 
and and, and Why would I would never, uh, I never, I never. Uh, well, it's, it's the the statute of limitation is yeah, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> we know this. Shit. Uh, Go ahead, I've never been. A, I've never been a, a, a hand to hand drug dealer. No. Okay, cool. Because my brother was deep in the game, so actually, I was uh, working for him, and I stole a half a key from my brother. Whoa, <laughs> damn! And Whoa. he came to pick it up. Speedy knows he came to pick it up. We got into a full fledged fist fight. <laughs> That's like, hey, nigga. Uh, you was like, you ain't getting this back? No. <laughs> <laughs> this your come up. That's $100,000 right here. I don't know what you're going to I don't know what you're gonna tell mama, but we about to get it. <laughs> That's that brotherly love, because if that wouldn't have been his brother, he'd have shot him. He's like, we yeah. fight this We out. fought from the beginning of my mother's house, through the backyard, through the back to the front yard, the whole neighborhood was. <laughs> Where's the kid? Uh, I, I kept it. I don't know. Well, where was it at while you were fighting? I, I, um, um, I, I had it in my car. Okay. And he was like coming to get you know my yeah. remainder. I'm like, nope, ain't going to happen. You been getting over on me because like <laughs> since I was I'm three. gonna go out there and sell all the shit and he give me like two three hundred dollars. I'm like no no no. But I finally got hip and I was a kid. I was like you know 15, 16 years old and I finally got hip. Like oh shit, he's making a hundred thousand. Oh. <laughs> and he came to get that money. Like nope. Yeah, the car. 15. Did y'all ever make up? Like no. We, cool we fought so long that we both got tired. He said, "You keep it, but you re up with me." <laughs> <laughs> I'm your supplier now. We were both bleeding. Mama said, "What happened?" Hey, it's a it's a bobcat in the backyard. Mama. He's a tough one. You know you live in Richmond. <laughs> yeah, it's a bobcat back it's there. Yeah, how did bobcat? Hey, I don't know. how He got dropped know. off, Mama, but he's tough out there. <laughs> he just mm-hmm. left. Don't go in the backyard, Mama. He just left. What else you got? Man? The next story is officials say a drone has dropped a package of drugs into an Ohio yep. prison yard. Started a fist fight. Started a fight. And started it started a, a fight. It yep. sparked a big fight. The package was dropped at Mansfield Correctional. Institution. Yep. About 65 miles uh, southwest of Cleveland. <laughs> Reportedly, it contained a quarter ounce of heroin, over two ounces of marijuana, and more than five ounces of tobacco. It, it was I'm going to ask you, hold on, Johnny. It hold, was on, in hold on, Johnny. I'm going to ask because you know how much money is that? How much, how much they going to make in that print? She didn't say how much they dropped. Yeah, they, they dropped an ounce of heroin. Mm. Two ounces of marijuana. Mm-hmm. That's nothing. And five ounces of tobacco. So, huh? mm. wait, wait, wait. Uh, you know, the prices the are going inflated. Be... Wait, hold on for a second. No hypodermic needles? No, you got to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get no syringe or nothing. I'm, so what, I'm, I'm going to eat it? <laughs> I love Johnny, How much is that, Johnny? Johnny Max doing the calculations. That's about 100 feet. In prison? Yep. Yeah, that's, that's, that's so much. Shit. Uh, uh, just for the cigarettes. Uh, yeah. yeah. A, a cell phone is like $1,600 in prison. Good Lord. And they pay that. Yep. Hey, pay it. Yeah, you got to pay boy, it. My boy called He sent me pics. I said, nigga, ain't you locked up? He said, yeah. They be on Facebook, too. Yeah. How are they well, on they, Well, because you can go and do that, but they actually have phones. They and got the, phones. The guards what, what, bring the, them in. There you go, Speed. The guards, guards bring them in. So the guards yeah. charge them 1600 for the yes, phone? Yes, sir. Now you said it's a drop yeah, in Cleveland, Cleveland, right? Yeah. There was a drop, and they the say that the, there was video footage it wasn't that a drone. showed what, what, the nigga, drone. Nigga with a strong arm. It was the Cavaliers of the team, of the team members. <laughs> 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 they were so goddamn bad. <laughs> it was everybody but LeBron. Everybody yeah. LeBron. How bad is your Lakers? Uh, the Lakers going to be terrible. <clears throat> don't, don't, don't. This is what I Clippers think the Lakers now? should do. I think the, all the Lakers should shave off their mustaches and join the WNBA. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only difference between the NBA and the WNBA is the mustache. Do you Lakers. think they should get rid of Kobe? No. Mm. No, he only got two years left. He got one year. He got one year, year, but he should never get rid of but this you, man. This man have carried this team for how many years? Twenty. Yeah, it's, you got to be loyal and strong. Because if I'm not loyal and faithful to Kobe, and then right. and then you just sign with the Lakers, like I know you're gonna shit on me. Yep. So ride him out. Yeah. Kobe's gonna be nice. Mm. As long as he don't break a shoulder or nothing. Yeah, he gonna he gonna always be able to score. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna always be able to score, but his defense is gonna be lacking. Uh, he might have to guard a mascot or something. They got some, they got, they got some young dudes. They, they going to do a little they ain't gonna something. Be shit. They ain't going to make it to the playoffs. No, but that's the, the, they got two the years. They're in a bad division. I just want to be West. bad one more year so Genie Bus can take over because Jim got to go. Let's, 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 let's talk about America. <laughs> what about America, Jim? How bad is it going to get? With the racism, huh? The, well, the racism has always been it's always yeah, going to be always there. been there. Malcolm but... X said there would never be justice in a stolen land. Mm. You always got to remember how we got, got to America, yeah, us uh, as blacks I'm always, and the whites. That's why when I, I watch these uh, uh, Republicans and they go, we were trying to get our land back, this wasn't your shit. Yeah, no you way. niggas stole this from somebody else mm-hmm. and it bought everybody here. Fucking colonizers. <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all got to sit there and think, like, what's a colonizer? What, what does he mean so, by that? I got to tell the story. 
So we do a double up on the bitch. Mm-hmm. Alleged. Johnny, <laughs> alleged. So alleged. Johnny Mac, see and say, speak, let me in. Oh, speak, man. So jo- it go around. <laughs> so here's Johnny. Here's Johnny. Speedy won't let Door me Door to open. Johnny Mac come back to the side of the window and go, Speedy! <laughs> let me in. I said, all right, nigga, no problem. Go back around and not get out a little harder. Door don't open. Johnny Mac came out. You want to fucking open this motherfucking door? I'm going to whoop everybody at. Let me tell you something about me. Wait, Johnny come in. He came in. I was determined. As he came in, you motherfuckers are ragging. Bitch, put your son with You motherfucker, all you motherfuckers. I said. What had me high was this poor as I had already opened the condom package. <laughs> now, what you going to do with that? <laughs> You can't reseal it. Look, you can't <laughs> fold it up. You, even... you know what? We can come up. <laughs> you know how they, how they got like uh, like cheese or whatever you can open like and resealable bag, resealable kind of bag. Yeah, but that making a small little zipper speed from can a come up. is we can come up. Somebody, can everybody do it. in here done, done thought he was gonna get some and bust it didn't work out. Then bust the yeah. pack. It's like oh shit, what? Yeah, you <laughs> put it back. You can't put it back. And now you try to fold the lip over. You try to fold that lip. Next morning, shit dry like powdered donut. Yeah. Now you got powdered donuts on your dick. Yeah. Now you explain that. Try to figure out how I can put this uh, baby oil in, in between <laughs> to keep it lubricated. No, nope, that ain't going to work. That's going to deteriorate that. But what if we put the Ziploc, boom. Hey, stop talking about it. You right. Gee, you the fuck <laughs> real. But, yeah. but, but this, this broadcast don't go past Crenshaw. <laughs> <laughs> we all good at it. But it's a nice setup. Johnny Max in the building. It's a nice setup, Portis. I came down here for Portis. Speedy Thank never called me. saying that, nigga. You didn't hit me. Ain't call. Johnny Mac. He didn't call I, me, Speedy. Jo- you the fucking He kept saying, I'll, Johnny Mac ain't coming. I, 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 I was talking around, though. <laughs> well, I I when something. I got to the address, I'm like, what, how the I parked? Now, there ain't no again, valet service or nothing. Again, I'm, no, <laughs> no, we ain't got no, nigga, this Crenshaw. At least yeah. you have a parking If it's a valet over here, then they steal your car. Yeah, ain't a real valet if you saw one. They got that that Louisiana chicken right there. It's still there. That's one of the last, it's only a few left. Yeah. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get some. I don't eat. I don't eat fried food that often. <laughs> you but the today, same nigga that puts salt on pizza. I do put the salt on the chicken too. But oh my god! I had, no, no, and not no sprinkle, nigga. He hold look. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was at a rest. I was at a restaurant. I just had a, 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 a an epiphany. I'm at a restaurant and I was putting the salt whatever on my food, and then the girl said, "I might get some salt," and I gave it. I'm like, half the salt is gone. What these yeah. fries? Now he the nigga that put the ketchup. On top of the fries, then the salt. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to look like it just snowed in my plate. <laughs> I said, you don't drink no water. No, I don't need no water. No. Hennessy back. Yep. <laughs> Shit, Johnny. I'm dead. You, I just, you I, like, if, I, if I ever lay down, it's over. <laughs> you, can't close, you can't close both eyes I sleep, on a, I sleep on a bicycle. If I ever lay in the bed, I'm, I'm dead. So, Johnny, <laughs> I'm telling you, nigga, we got so many, this nigga, so I don't know Johnny Mac got a routine. When he put his robe on, it's somebody in, in the yep. house. I come through. You niggas are fall through Johnny yeah. Mac. Boom, boom, boom. Who is it? Me, nigga. This nigga cracked the door with the robe, the skinniest <laughs> legs, I've, the skinniest white legs I've ever seen in my life. I said, uh, it ain't cool right now. Yeah, not right now. I said, what you doing? About to fuck this bitch. I lean over. She right there like, hey. I'm like, you called her bitch? That's what she is. <laughs> hey, like I fuck with no ladies, but 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 my role speed, you never—it's matching. Matching what? Sucks. I got a matching ascot. Yeah. You ain't gonna, ladies, you ain't gonna turn it down. Trust me. It's from it's from Bloomingdale's. You said some socks. Neiman, Neiman Marcus. It ain't like I ain't getting shit from Target. <laughs> it John, a, it's matching. Tell these motherfucker what you told the bitch when she said. I can levitate. <laughs> so, you know, I mess with this girl. I don't know. She might be a girl, whatever. She may be from, I don't know. She's weird. Or, so, or I, d- alien. No, it ain't no dude. I'm talking about like an alien. Oh. <laughs> so it started off, I was, I was going in the Jack in the Box, and it, it was going about like, Jesus Christ, why do people keep saying that? What, Jesus Christ? I can do everything he can do. Oh, oh. This? <laughs> okay, well, I, I don't want to fuck it up because, you know, this yeah. is this is my pick for the, this is my pick for the night. I'm yeah. like, okay, well, you know what? Uh, maybe you can. I mean, maybe you can walk on water. We can you give me some free tacos. Nothing. Okay, it's <laughs> not. So she keep going about, you know, Jesus Christ was a man. He can do. He, you know, he died and he ate like everybody else. I'm like, nah, he's a little bit different. Mm-hmm. First of all, he had good hair. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> so somehow we get it to the crib. I get it to the crib. I, I, I don't want to blow it. I don't want to blow. I'm like, this bitch is crazy, but I don't want to blow it. This is my pick for the night. It's <laughs> my I, pick for the I, night. I don't already open the condom, too. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> I got to go through with it. <laughs> so she started telling me that she can levitate. She can float. 
The reason why she don't do it because her mama said that the people would come get her and put her in the circus. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the same asylum. I'm like, bitch, sir. So this bitch, is the, this bitch is the magic carpet. Bitch. Right. She's like, but I can. I said, here's here's the thing. If your legs ain't in the air, keep your feet on the ground. <laughs> I don't want you levitating up in here. This right. this is not a good time to be levitating. Right, right. Let me tell you how bad it got. So I, I hit it, okay. right? Then I go get some breakfast food. Put the you know. robe on. I need the robe then. I didn't need the robe. <laughs> I, I need the robe when I got to romance them. <laughs> so I go get some breakfast. So I leave my house, go get some breakfast food, whatever. I come right back because I will feed. Yeah, I will you feed left her at the house? Yeah. Oh, okay. it gets worse. So I come back and whatever worse. case might have been, I whatever get the food, take her home, and I come back home. By the time I get home, she calls me. I'm like, what's up? I just have to c- confess. What happened? When you was gone, huh? <laughs> I put one of your porn DVDs in my purse. <laughs> Bitch, you stole them! <laughs> you stole the porn Jesus DVD! Jesus stole the porn DVD. Jesus stole the porn Tell her what you tell her what you tell her you're gonna do to her. <laughs> I forgot. No, Johnny Max, he said something about, I'm going to keep levitating. He said, bitch, I'm going to do something the devil won't do. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to leave you alone. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's after I hit us, I'm going to do something for you that the devil won't do. What's that? I'm going to leave you alone. <laughs> yep. So she called to snitch on herself? Who steals? <laughs> and tells you before you get back. Who steals a porn DVD? Who does that? A three ninety nine. She ain't Jesus. Was it one of your good ones? It was good, too. They say the crazy ones. She was good. <laughs> but I never came back. Because I know she's going to stab me sooner or later. This bitch. Johnny Mac in the building. She watching you while you sleep. <laughs> exactly. Man, it's, it's a tough role. Let's get back to America. No. He <laughs> said no. Let me, let me ask you this. How did Bruce Jenner... <laughs> I've, been wondering, I've been trying to get on a radio show for the longest. Okay, you're on there. How did he win... The Arthur Ashe Courage Award for the B for the ESPYS, and he ain't played a sport since 1978. How did that happen? And he had no real courage because he had on Fruit of the Looms. If you ain't cut off your manhood, you ain't had no courage. Yet. <laughs> did he come up in the dress? Yeah, yeah, he had shoulders and everything. He looked weird. It's 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 disgusting. And but walk. I'm saying, and there's a lady who had her legs amputated yes. doing the um the Boston Marathon. Yeah, yeah and there was another yeah. uh, man for, that lost yeah. his limbs in Iraq. Right. And there's another guy is a uh, he was in the army, whatever, and he tried to play baseball. Mm-hmm. Fuck all them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's this dude, the last time he ran, they were wearing dolphin shorts. He was running. (laughs) (laughs) Thighs high. He ain't played a sport since 1978. He won his, whatever you call it, gold medals. Yeah, Yeah. 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 76? 76. 76. 76 Olympics. How in the fuck does he win anything? Wait, you ain't you, played how nothing. How you nominated? Here's how are you not? There wasn't speak. even nomination. They just gave him the award. I'm just saying. They just gave him the award. Because they were on ABC. This is the first live. year they was ever on ABC. And they had all the Kardashians. But here, here's what's going to happen. They ain't tricking America. you trying to force this gay shit. And if you're gay, you have the right to be gay. Cool. And you try to whatever. But, you know, California voted against gay marriage. Mm-hmm. And then they changed it. No, the you Supreme know. Court changed it. Supreme Court. Same thing. Yeah. California. No, nah, California. So, so why do we vote? Yeah, exactly. Why do we vote if you can come and just change our vote? So why do we vote? You don't know what you want. That's America. So I vote for. <laughs> you don't know what you want. I, I, I don't know who's running for president right now. I'm damn sure I ain't voting for Donald Trump. Yeah. The hairstyle alone lets me know. <laughs> he don't know what the fuck is going on in these streets. Ain't had no phone <laughs> <over> president. <laughs> like he got on a Daniel Boone hat back. <laughs> damn, I'm for. Hey, I'll squirt. be damned I'll vote for somebody with a tail in the front. I'll be damned if that's going to happen. <laughs> like the raccoon tail supposed to go in the back. It's supposed to go in the back. At least get a mullet. But he you got, got it curled up like a python on his it's head. It's not going to happen. <laughs> And that dude is crazy. Y'all be watching that dude is crazy. Yes, he is. He is. He's, He's hilarious. So what do you think of uh, Hillary? He's an elitist. I can't vote for Hillary. Hillary. Mm. Joe Biden, my man. Well, here's the I thing. can't vote for Hillary because, you know, the thing that happened back in the day with her husband, she didn't really take a stand. Mm-hmm. I, I can't, I can't I vote for somebody that. I, I look at it like this. Nah, sometimes you just got to lead a dude. With Donald Trump, if, if Barack would have said just one of the things he's ever said, Oh, yeah. They would have nailed this motherfucker to the ground. But but Barack Obama's not a Republican. It doesn't matter. No, they, the Republicans. Are, the problem I have with Republicans because they keep trying to say, well, he voids his opinion and we like that. So so he don't he hasn't told you nothing about what he's gonna do. Uh, this is my uh, this is what I see for America. He just said, I don't like these people. I'm rich. I don't like these people. I'm rich. Mm-hmm. We got to change America. And and these white motherfuckers go, wow, he's talking real to uh, us because they gotta find somebody. To you know, compete against the Democrat, they not, they don't really think uh, Donald Trump. They're not Trump even trying is, to win, you know. But but most of these people are, are, are like Donald Trump are they're elitists. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. They're rich and powerful. They don't know what the average Joe go through right now. They don't know that that Kente's writing on some fucking paper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he don't. You and, know. He, and he live in the trash can. They don't know. They don't know nothing like that. Become Oscar the Grouch. Nigga. I'm just saying can. they don't. They don't know what what, what what our society really needs. Yeah, right. Actually, and they're no. not trying to know. They're not trying to know because I'm rich. Yeah. And then it seems like they're all focused on middle class and high class. They never Take say the anything. Out. They yeah. never say anything about the poor community. Because they don't know. What would they know? What would Donald Trump know about coming down here on Crenshaw Boulevard or uh, uh, any inner city, Oakland or yeah. uh, uh, St. Louis? He wouldn't know anything about that. And what, what would he know about a crime? Yeah. I, I was watching the other day, and uh, uh, the, 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 uh, it was about the police keep shooting the black people and killing them whatever whatever and and the guy the white guy he was a governor somewhere and he was talking about i want to say minnesota he was talking about police are doing their job and then he said he's never had a confrontation with yeah, a cop that he's never been pulled over by yeah. a police officer so you don't know what the fuck you talking about yeah, yeah. They, they, and let me ask you this they keep on talking about america and i hope this get out past crenshaw <laughs> when does a traffic violation requires for me to get out of my car yeah. when does a traffic violation require you to have your gun out for a traffic violation. Yeah, if my if I don't signal, why is your hand on your gun at all? And she, and he said, I will fry you. I will light your ass but up. But all cops get out the car with their hands on no, their no, gun. No, no, no. I was no, no. thinking that, that too, today. But, yeah. I'd seen His him. thing is, why, at what point do I have to get out of my car for a traffic violation? For stop? a traffic violation. Now, now, if you think, and you and you run my name, and it come back, whatever it's supposed to come back, came back fucked up, now you ask me to get out of yeah. my car. But to ask me to get out of my car, and you ain't even, you ran, even ran, you ran, my ran my name. name. You ain't ran shit. Yeah, even the guy in Cincinnati. Yeah, I was like, run my shit. name. Well, yeah, run my name. Get out the car. Because I've the done car. that on many, because the trick was back in the day when, when I lived on the other side of the law, never carry ID. Mm-hmm. I got nine brothers and sisters, and about eight of them got cases right now. <laughs> <laughs> Even your sisters? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jerry could be a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Rice, Jerry Lewis. <laughs> So the trick was is to know your um, number, your, your license, driver license number. Yeah, I know mine. And I knew everybody in my family. That was the trick. Oh, okay. So if I ain't got no ID, I said, well, you can run my, my license number. Oh, whatever. And I just, it may be speedy. I just kick it off. And they would go and come back clean. I can go home. Yeah, damn that. I got two. Co- I got a cousin that got me two goddamn cases because he didn't use my name and my old address from Oakland. No, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> so so hey, I, Johnny. So you're supposed to go back to your car. When does when does a traffic violation require me to get shot and killed? Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. And we're not, it's not even about black and white. It's just police. I, I said this on Speedy Show, and Speedy wants to crucify me. There's no such thing as a good cop. Because the good cops got to be quiet. Because if if let's just take Ferguson for for example, where Darren Wilson coward ass shot and killed Mike mm-hmm. Brown, and the police four police officers gave him a ride to the uh, hospital. Mm-hmm. He was allowed to take his gun home for a day and a half. Oh yeah. You know, when, you, when, a, when a cop is involved in a shoot, you're supposed to take that weapon off yeah, his hip immediately. immediately. Yep. Ballistic. Those four or five officers help him get his story together. Oh, you go to the police station and there's no video recorder, there's no paper, pen and paper to take his statement in the whole police department? That's fucking asinine. So what they all did, they got together and helped him get his story together. Now, maybe you didn't pull the trigger, but you helped cover it up. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So you no that makes you an accomplice <laughs> to that crime. Mm. Nobody in this police station. So that continue. Same thing in uh, uh in South Carolina when they shot my man uh uh, uh Scott. Yeah, with shot him in the back. If you pay attention to that video when they when uh the white cop went back to get the stun gun and he came back the black cop was at the guy's head it had him and he up. said, "I can't cover for you this time." Look it up. Look yeah. up the video, mm-hmm. which means I've covered for you before. Mm. Yeah. Johnny Mac yeah. shooting. What I, what I don't like, I don't like, I don't like black people just being robbed. I don't like black people just being killed, and you know, and and everything is cool. It's like okay, well, we just killed the black guy. Uh, uh, LAPD shot a homeless man five times. Yeah. yeah. In front of everybody. I, I'm about to get deep right now. Like, but you didn't shoot Ruth in South Carolina, who was using his gun to kill nine innocent okay. black people in the church. They didn't didn't even he was allowed. They he took was allowed. Him to Burger King. Yeah. Exactly with a bulletproof vest. He was allowed to turn himself in with the gun. Well, you know, America got more. What mad. about in Waco? Yeah, America got more mad at Cecil the Lion. Yeah. being killed. Well, the Lion was yeah. cool though. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna front. I, we gotta I take, feel a certain kind of way We gotta take too. a quick break, you guys. <laughs> you signed a petition. <laughs> it, it's the all new rollout show. Hit us up if you want to talk to Johnny Mac about For America. Three two three two nine three 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 seven five, and we'll be right back, you guys. Fuck you, don't talk to him.
We are back. It is the Rollout Show right here. All new Rollout Show right here at Morris Media. It's your boy Speedy in the building we got. The Poetess. In the building we got. It's your boy Kente. In the building we got. Johnny motherfucking Mac. That's right. Yeah. Johnny. Johnny. Johnny yes. Mac. Be my name in heaven. So is Dr. Scott. Uh, we got special guests in the building. We have... We have Ricky Miller. He is the founder of World Peace Now Forever, and he's also the sponsor for the Celebrity Basketball yeah, Game weekend. for Peace that um, Speedy and Kente are participating in. I got hurt playing dominoes last week. <laughs> <laughs> he said got hurt playing dominoes. Poor I got job. something in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's here today to talk about uh, the, the charity event he's doing, and um, welcome to the show. What's up, Ricky? Thank you. I just want uh, somebody turn his mic on. Yeah, turn his mic on. Yeah. Then I, I want to just talk about the title. It says "World Peace for Now and Forever." Yeah, forever. World Peace now. Forever. But once you say forever, you ain't got to say Thank now. You. Now came yeah. first. Go ahead. Thank you. I'm just saying, <laughs> anyway, I'm Ricky. so delighted to be here. You still are. Speedy. He's on. Turn his mic. On. He's on. Oh, turn, there, yeah, there. turn it on. I can hear. It. I can hear. It. I can hear okay. you. Okay. And poetry. Right? Poetess. The poetess. This nigga right I here. love y'all. Yeah, Yo, thank is you, bro. very brilliant for us. <laughs> love you, pottery. Uh, <laughs> the whole unique cast here. Thank you, I brother. feel like at home, you know? Yeah. Where you from? I'm from Compton. Oh, well, you are I'm at home. Compton. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I'm at home. Right across the street. Hey, I'm at home. You know, what? The first what, way that, uh, uh, hey, remember m and used to be right here, right? On 105th, right? Right, right. Right, right. Yeah. right. Yeah. You know, I'm just a pioneer for Compton. All right. And how'd you get in? Uh, how'd you bring this about to, to do this uh, well, celebrity game? I'm just going to make it short, Speedy. It was okay. a vision from God. Okay. And I know people hear that and they say, wow, this is a 23, year, 23 years of making this a reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I'm not going to talk negative about our city, about you know the negativity of the politicians and so on and so on, because I'm here. Mm -hmm. See, God had his patience with me to get this done. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was just like anything. Once you see a vision, you see a glimpse, and I'll just know that he wanted his children to be able to have unity and see it like I seen it in the 60s. Mm -hmm. You know, the movement of peace means it starts with yourself. Mm -hmm. And like we all know, it's corruption everywhere. Not only just the city of Compton, throughout the whole world. Mm -hmm. So, Freddie, to ask your question about why did I come with the title, it was initiated a peace day. Mm -hmm. But I went with world peace now forever because as we adventure out, these problems is going on every day. And I was listening to the segment earlier. About I don't think your mic is. Talking. I don't think your mic is. Yeah, on. He, was, he was on. It was it's on. on. It's on. It's, it's perfect. On. Uh, yeah. Can you guys? He just got to get closer to it. I had everything he okay. said. Okay. Yeah. Freddie, you heard him? Yep. You heard him, Freddie? Okay. Freddy? I just can't. They okay. <laughs> it's just like I said, you know. People, it's awareness. I lost my daughter last year. So I'm sorry to hear that, bro. It, oh, okay. And, you know, is I, this what this um, right, charity event right, is about to raise right. awareness about lupus? The, the awareness about lupus, bullying, <clears throat> as, as well as just uh, everyday lifestyle mm -hmm. for us, you know. You said lupus and bullying. Right. Bullying, lupus. We just here to let the world know these, are, these acts have to stop. That's true. You know? And, so uh, what's the, is there a connection with the two or are those just two topics that you're passionate about? Well, we're passionate about them two topics. Now, topics you're there, from so. Compton, and was there something that, were you involved with the street life at one point or, and you had an awakening or tell us a little bit about your backstory? An epiphany. <laughs> well, yes, I've been <laughs> in Compton over 47 years, since 1967, mm -hmm. raised up in Compton. I seen all the adversity, what favored me, and I didn't want this to be, I graduated from Compton High. No, I'm sorry, I graduated, I attended Compton High, but I graduated from my rival school, Centennial. Mm -hmm. And that was really kind of odd at that time. And it's odd now, so what happened, I really couldn't understand that, but God had a plan, mm -hmm. you see, because where it's the blues, where the Crips and the Bloods, where it's Centennial. And for me at that time, I was an athlete, I played ball, I didn't want to play. What's ball? Basketball. Basketball? Yeah, I was a b-ball player. Point guard? Point guard. I can see it in you. More or less a <laughs> defensive guard, you know. But I did all the other things too, low ride. I really wasn't into uh, the gang banging because I'm a leader. I didn't see what I had to join, but I seen cats got caught up in that world. 
you know, it was like 16, 17 guys jumping on one. I helped my ground. Go ahead. Did you join? Did you go to Centennial because you had a better basketball team, or was it like you was like bust? Or I mean, what, what, how'd you get over there? No, basically, it became an incident. And my mom, she had this mentality like most parents do: you gonna go where I say you gonna go, yeah. mm. okay? And what she didn't realize, you know, from her background, the southern mentality of bringing you up in the roots, you gonna graduate. But what came out of that, it was the best thing for me. Now, I was a little contemplated about it because I'm going to my rival school. Right. You know, but it turned out the best thing that happened. Mm Because years later, I see why God had his way with me to do this. Because most time, like it is now, diversity in the streets, it's kids that can't even go to the park on the other side. Right, right. The different territories. Mm -hmm. But with me... It, 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 I didn't have that problem because it opened up more avenues to be able to come here today yeah. and speak on. And then it brought more unity because right. I can speak with the those that's on that side and the tree on the other side. So this is in the, this is in the, uh, the late 70s. And at that time, it wasn't based on uh, a color. It was based on where you was from. Mm-hmm. Okay, the, the red, the blue didn't have none. It was just about who you are. And me seeing that, and then me seeing the effect what started in the 80s, the crack, then, the, you know, as we know in the 90s, then all the separation became drive-bys. I started to stop the drive-by, increase the peace, the founder and the CEO of that in the 80s. Because I got tired of seeing brothers just killing innocent people for no reason. No, no, it's never a reason to kill. That's true. But it was just like on a rampage. Right. People couldn't go here and there. Kids couldn't go to this park, this school, here and there. And that's the coward act. And I say that because I came up in the 60s with men's with men and you take it to the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And if you did have a problem, you could see your differences as bringing it on. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to go get a gun and just jump to the car and spray innocent people for no reason because you live in that area. So I campaigned against that strongly. And and from that point, just like anything, I seen a lot of real and I seen that wasn't real because people like to dictate, but they don't like to put hands on uh, uh, these units. In the in community, meaning mm-hmm. these babies, mm-hmm. you know, they like to tell you about what they shouldn't do. But are you in that neighborhood, in that community, in that hood, putting helping it down them, and yeah. helping them? Yeah. So that was the eighty spread, and we did well, you know. But like anything, you're not gonna cure the world with hate and crime. Mm-hmm. But, right. But we can penetrate love. You understand? That's and this is this is what I'm saying about world peace now and forever. Yeah. Okay. So can you tell us um, about the event this Saturday and, and you know, what people can expect and how they can support your cause? <clears throat> Thank you. First of all, I want everybody to know our city been suffering. You know, it is the NWA movie coming out, premiere. August 14th. The premiere is uh, August 10th. Right. I'm going. <laughs> Me too. That's a great thing. I'm going to be dressed better than you. No, you yeah. ain't. So I'm going to get my hair done, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, it's August the 8th, El Camino Compton College. Mm-hmm. Now, it's El Camino, but I still stay with Compton College. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Speedy, I've seen you in the past. I met you a long time ago. Okay. You know, sometime back at the town. Was, was he thin back then? Were you Never. Ready? Yeah. Never. He, 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 was, he was putting it down. You and Jamie Foxx, you was doing your yeah. Speedy and Friend thing with Jamie. And I came out some years back okay. and met you. You okay. didn't stand the guitar, man, one of my close oh, buddies. Oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was, it's what I'm really saying, I'm asking everybody to come out. Yeah. You know, don't, this Saturday. Don't, don't hesitate. Bring your love right away. We're in the Hub City, it's CPT. So we're doing it for the babies. If you're 15, 16, and 15 and below, you're free. Mm-hmm. To get in there, I made it where that I want the young people to come, mm-hmm. and not an excuse with the parents that I can't afford. It's fifteen dollars a mission to get in. 15. But sixteen and other is free. Yeah, sixteen and other. So what if I dress like a sixteen-year-old? I put some skinny jeans on. <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> your old ass in a backpack. 
<laughs> Your old ass. Because I, I identify with 15 year olds. Don't ever say that. Do you? Don't say that out loud. Hey, the white woman said it and she became the leader of the NAACP. Now I can identify. <laughs> well, I got said, Let me get in free. I, now. I, I can say, spend money on the hot dogs. Yeah. I got something to say about that. You know, everybody's going to try that. We know. We know that. But with the parents. I can shave a mustache off. With you the got gray hair in your beard. You're grown. Yeah, you know, you we want the parents to bring the babies out. Yeah, we want us to time. have a nice time. Speedy, you're going to be hosting yeah, it. Yeah, it's going to be all the chat. Said Hollywood is going to get down. Yeah. And we got many other people coming from different other locations and radio stations and media around the world going to televise What about this. the food situation? You the have food is always going to be Buffalo great. wings? Well, <laughs> we're going to keep the Compton style. You know, some good food, freshmen, lemonade, water. Because, you know, we just want the babies to be able to reach out and see some of these great stars, celebrity. Because you and, never know what awareness. may trigger that kid to That's true. to become the next Cedric, to become the next yeah. uh, Johnny Mac, to be a writer. So we want you to bring the kids. Uh, it's this Saturday, uh, August 8th. I'm, I'm doing this on my glasses. At El Camino College. And, In the gymnasium. 1111 East Artesia Boulevard, yeah. Compton, California. If you want to get information, you can call 323-312-8776. Or just, you know, look on our, our I look on our page. I'm yeah. glad you read that because Speedy was struggling. Yeah, he was. He was <laughs> oh, no, I have we, a we have a I don't want a page, too. Let the, Speedy read the red page. What, yeah, it's right there. What's your web page? No, nah, Speedy not going to be able to read it. World Peace So now. is there anything else you would like to add and let people know? Um, if they can't make the event, is there some other way that right. they can support? Donations? Yes, you, you, you definitely can support us. We have a website page. It's www.worldpeacenowforever.com. And then we also have... My personal email is Forever Peace Day, the numerous one at gmail.com. Are you taking this around a, uh, a country or just you'll just do right here? Our goal is to have this as a tour. We're kicking it off right now in the city of Compton. I am talking to some um, other stars and people in the entertainment business to get bigger sponsorship involved. And we want to be able to tour this around the world. That'd be right. dope. You know, I have some. I don't want to over speak too quick. Right. There's somebody that all of y'all know, Mr. Wonder, and me and his staff is talking to bring this global. You just spoke too. Yeah, yeah overspoke. Yeah. Just yeah. Overspoke. Yeah. You know, I, mean, <laughs> so I don't, don't want to speak too quick. Speak but you know, me and uh, uh, BB yeah. King about to go down. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to keep just, it on the level. Of, <laughs> good cause a lot. You know, it's just like. Like I said, Silky D, and and uh, I'm giving a shout out to I would like Silky to, D to give a shout out to all the people that help and assist us. Marie, Silky D. Hey Marie, which one's and, Marie? And That's my me. wife right there, Marie's Miller. not here. And, and, my wife said, "You better yeah. say something about yeah, me, man." What I'm saying is. Which one is Silky D and which one is your wife? Your wife got well, the phone? My Silky wife has got the one that's with the phone in her hand. That's right. Miss Miller. One and Miller. Silky D is um, yeah. um, a okay. legendary DJ here in Los Angeles. She was around back in uh, Uncle Jam's army days. And her daughter is a, a, a big DJ now. So um, shout glad out to, to have her here. Can I say one word before please I Please do. Sure you can, please. brother. Yeah. I have my baby girl. She have lupus. She's oh, yeah. 24. Daddy. Is I, this now you lost? I lost one to lupus. Yes, and my baby girl. So had is it's genetic? Well, I really can't tell you mm. to know that, mm. but that's why what makes me be more on the grind of getting it out because it hits our race. Mm -hmm. It's the autoimmune system, and we don't really know. And I hope scientists and medicine and people and herbal mm -hmm. doctors get involved because mm -hmm. uh, you know this is our lives, and it's hitting the black women's strongly mm -hmm. it's like a shark in a tank it is attack at any time and then it goes in remission right but my daughter name is melinda mm -hmm. Shout you out to know melinda. miller i know you're hearing your daddy right now and all the people around the world i just want y'all to know you know this is serious bring your babies out your children now come at your best behavior because for me to get these great people to come out we wanted to be a peaceful right. event right no disturbedness even after we relieve Everybody out, just go home safe and sound, and remember that you had a, a beautiful, joyful day. Do I get a trophy? Now. If I come out there and score Forever. 40, if I score 40, if you score 40, you playing by well, yourself. Well, if you score 40, me and you going to have to play one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> okay? Because well, I'll be tired by then, but I, no, no. I, I can shoot. Well, I can stay on you, too. So you don't have you know, to. You don't have to show me what you got. I can shoot. Okay, because I, I believe that. Come on out and show me and bring it out. 
Everybody come out. Bring yeah. on your friends. This Saturday. This Saturday, August the, the 8th. Chain. El Camino Compton College. World Peace Now Forever. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Pre- appreciate you. Thank you for coming Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank Ricky you. Miller in the building. Appreciate Thank you, it. You think I'm playing? I'm Miss Miller. Which I'm one's coming Ms. out there to shoot. Miss Miller, she recording you. She just stopped recording. I don't get no rebounds, no assists. I'm going to shoot. You're yeah. not getting 40 And then the young lady right here, you said you didn't mention her. She said, what about me, motherfucker? What about me? Come, oh, come, shit. come on, what about me? How what tall are you? Uh, uh, you like, he ain't six foot, is he? No. Four, three and a half. Feet, yeah, I'm going to shoot on top of it. I'm going to shoot that. What's your name, baby girl? Tall as Kevin Hart's shadow. I, got, I have to do it like, like that because yeah, we don't everybody, yeah. Hey, if I say I know you, they're like, he invite motherfuckers. Silky D. Hey, Silky, Silky D. D. Oh, yeah, that's oh, what's going okay, on, man. That's right. We were talking about we need a DJ. Yeah, we do need a DJ. This one right here, this is my sister. By family. This is family. Fam. That's right, fam. What the last time you saw her before today? She has me anytime <laughs> she wants me, I, and she knows that. So anytime she, she got so me, So you I'll DJing, you going to be playing the music while they miss no, a layup? No, actually, I got uh, Evil E, Arabian Prince, Ew, my shit. daughter, DJ Spark, uh, Quest Coast. For the longest, I did not know Spark was your daughter. I know. You didn't know that, sister? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. And, you know, Spark told me, too. She said... You know, the boy said, I didn't know that was your, <laughs> that Suki D was your Johnny mom. Of said. course, you know, I had to, while I, you know, I poured this no, I'm a lot of firsts. You know, by being the first female DJ in hip hop history, mm-hmm. um, started in 1980. What, in LA or period? Period. Well, the East Coast gives me that. Mm-hmm. They really do. Africa, mm-hmm. Bam, and all of them, they, they tell me that. All what was you Jazzy playing K back in the 80s? What song was you playing? Curtis Jazzy, Blow? Who was you playing back? Who was you playing in the 80s? I don't. Well, I'm a DJ that plays 60s, 70s. No, I'm saying back up. in 1980, when you say you first started in 80, mm-hmm. right? Who was who was some of the songs you was playing? What was you playing? Oh, my God. We was funking it with uh, the OJs and uh, Gap Band, Tina Marie, that kind of thing. You know, and Motown. You know, that's what you did right there. And, and, of course, the music that was going on right now. I'm yeah. just saying it's hard but, to scratch oh, the OJs. <laughs> no, it's not. Climbing the stairway. <laughs> I don't think they were scratching back then. Scared, wait. You know, scratching. Nigga, you get the How long did it we take? We really didn't get into scratching until about like 82, Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. I don't think they were scratching. Turn oh. off, turn off, turn off the light, light, yeah. light, light, so. light, 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 <laughs> bitch. <laughs> so, you know, with Spark, uh, I started her, well, she started DJing at the age of 10, but really put her out there at the age of 12. She started with, I put her with, I managed my daughter's like, career until money. she was 17. I started her with Immature. Mm. And immature, then, Immature. I remember that. Yeah, she was the only Houston female for Immature. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you say the yeah. name four times so you can remember it? No, no. They, they from L.A., right? Yeah, no. Mark, well, Mark kind of, yeah. 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 And uh, yeah. Chris Stokes and, uh, and Mark. Yeah. No, yeah. not Mario. No. Yeah. yeah. That's, that was before B2K. Right. right, 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 right. And then she went on to together. B2K. Right, She went right. to B2K and then the group uh, Guy, Black Street. Mm. And, um, yep, yep. Polly the Romeo, Rubio, uh, Lady Gaga. I mean, she's doing it. She's just oh, doing shit. it. She's is your daughter here? Is she here? No. Oh, okay. she's, she's, she's in LA. Lady Gaga. Yeah. She's in LA. She's, she's from LA? LA and mm-hmm. she can come down here. We'll have her down here. Yeah, Spark is cool. Yeah. She'll come. No, down. Lady Gaga from LA? No. No. Ladies from the East. Lady Gaga not coming. Spark coming. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's, and that's we your gotta daughter. Get, we got to get Mac together, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Some I'm mac a, and cheese. That probably happened right there. <laughs> that has a mac and cheese. I know comedy. I, I, all this other shit, I'm like, yeah, I'm lost. <laughs> all right, yeah, mac and cheese. So, you know, I, I went forward. I mean, with her DJing, I, t- I became a, a first lady owning an audio, audio and sound company, and I traveled across the road providing the sounds for Tina Marie Gap Band and the whole bit. Oh, shit. She started the funk concerts. Right. That's when the funk concert started, and then it we ended it out here in L.A. where Sinbad started doing the funk cruises. Mm. Oh. So, yeah, I'm a lot of firsts. And, you know, I'm, I stick, I'm, I'm real hip-hop. I'm real hip-hop. So I'm in the community a lot. I do a lot of youth advocacy, you know. Uh, and, are you uh, going to be there Saturday? Of course. Okay, I'm the cool. one that, look. I'm the one that When the funk hit the fan. You I met the this man and, <laughs> you know, I just... Did my hip hop mission and made it happen. Beautiful. You went to high happen. school. What high school you went to? Okay. No. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> no, I went to Home uh, school university. I went to St. Monica's and then after St. Monica's for my last year, my junior year, because I had so many credits from private school. Let I went know. to Hamilton. You know who went to St. Monica? Yeah, Don, 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 I graduated Leon early. Leon Wood, early. Who Leon, the, the referee for the an NBA, oh, yeah. Leon Wood. Yeah. We played against them. 
and he averaged 53 points a game God, in damn. high school. Yeah, he was a beast. <laughs> at, at Saint, not, not Santa Monica, at Saint Monica. That's right. Yes, yes. That's and, right. And that's a I played school? ball too. Like, matter of fact, my scholarship was from Saint Monica, and so I went to UCLA. Boom. Oh, boom. Yeah, so, in the building. That's yeah, my ruin so, system. Like it, and I got married, so I didn't graduate. Yeah. <laughs> Did you play it though? Yeah. yeah a dick always finds a way ball. to fuck your life up. <laughs> yeah. A dick will fuck your life up. You should know, Speedy. Oh, well, I had, look, oh, I had Spark. Look, if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have Spark. Exactly. So, there you yeah. go. Oh, you, you had one child through your marriage? No, I had two. I lost, uh, I had a son before Spark, but oh, she's sorry. the only. But I've raised so many children throughout my life, like really literally feeding a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You know, I used my business to create more DJs and more, you know, more sound owners. And opportunities for other yeah, kids. Yeah, definitely. Probably yeah, I, I did the educational you, field You still for, DJing? Every now and then, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be DJing. Oh, we're going to be playing this, uh, yeah. this oldie but goodie. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, no, you're not going to bring we're it gonna, up. We're going to Because, see, Mac, I was also We're going to remix uh, Sam Cooke for you. <laughs> <laughs> we got this uh, new Cap Calloway. It's a beast. <laughs> no, I keep up. Drake you know? is dropping beats on this Cap Calloway. <laughs> right. <laughs> By I the Dock of the Bay, the remix for you. <laughs> take yeah. that, take that, take that. Yeah, so no, right. thank you, baby, for hanging out oh, with us. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah, I really, you look you know, marvelous, girl. I'm glad you came by. Look, this right here. Here, I'm Next in. What the last time y'all hung out? <laughs> we haven't we hung out in a while, but we run into each other. Hey, hey, don't, get the the don't get the fence. Don't get the fence. Add I like yeah. your attitude. This is my sister. Wake up. Oh, what's it says? Protege. Hey, motherfucker. Wake up and roll out. That's right. Oh, that's the name of this show. Roll out. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck is wrong with you, Johnny? I never Wait, said nothing. Before, I wanted to ask you, Johnny Mac, you actually write on one of my favorite shows, The Real Husbands of Hollywood. That's true. I love that show. I, I love when, that show too. When's it when's the new season? August eighteenth. It comes out August eighteenth. Okay. Come back. Uh can I come on the set and hang on one day? Ain't no more set. No more. <laughs> y'all wrapped already. Y'all already no, shot them episodes. Now nah, we got oh, another season coming up. When the season up? coming up? We start back writing in November. Oh, okay. Hey, don't hate on my success. Hey, man. I will. You ain't never invited me over. So what else are I've you? I've seen you acting before. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking with you. So I what else have um, you been doing since Foxhole days? Oh, shit. Everything. I, it's, it, but that, um, the Real Husbands have been a, been a big help for my career. I ain't gonna front. It's, it's like taking me. I like to see it go to a ma like a HBO so you guys can uh, really No, 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 no. Don't sleep on it. Uh, because uh, uh, Viacom owns BET. We everywhere. Yep. I know, but I would like to see. And a union. It's all union. It's all A little union. more That's uncensored, great. I think. Yeah. She but just wants ahead. it to be a little bit more nah, but uncensored. No, nah, but sitcoms, yeah, if, you go, if you watch Fox or ABC or whatever, it's, no. you can't. Yeah. No, can't. She, she wants it to be that way. Not be you guys could be a little more edgier. Yeah. But I like it. I love it. The uh, show we can't even the say nigga is. on a black stage. We can't even say bitch. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, Oh. Everybody else, every other they network. On the radio. How do you right. get past that, Johnny they Mac? I'm <laughs> fucking that bitch. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> you, like, S and P, man. S and P is, is like standing in practice. They, they, it's a tough. It's a tough Tell situation. Tell you about Johnny. If Johnny got a girl with him. Don't say hi to her. Don't, don't, because Johnny like. Look, nigga, you had the same opportunity I had. <laughs> get your don't, own bitch. Don't be trying to speak now. You tell him, Johnny. Uh, get your ass up. Go to the club Look, and get, get your, your own, own bitches. Bitch. <laughs> Not calling women bitches. Just the ones I fuck with. <laughs> <laughs> I know my limitations. <laughs> I need, well, you, I need you know to get you said. right before you get a SAG card, bitch. We can roll right before you become union. You be SAG eligible? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, eligible. You, you need, you need one like, more vow to me. You can, we can be tight. But as soon as you make it over there, like, ah, I got to let her go. Yeah. You be like, Johnny, guess what? Click. But Yo, Johnny. I, I'm going to tell you a true story. I just slept with this girl. I don't know. What, what's this? Tuesday? What's that? Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. So I slept with this girl. Right? First time I ever sleep with this girl. I met her, whatever I met her. And I told her what I told her. So I sleep with her. Right? <laughs> we still in the bed. Right? Sports Center just came on. Cause that's how I get down. She's like, ah, ba -da -da, ba -da -da. That's my get down. That's, that's my aftermath music. Aftermath. We still in the bed. And she said, I'm going to be in Jimmy Fox and Kevin Hart next movie. <laughs> bitch, me too. <laughs> <laughs> how do you go to the top, bitch? What about a DVD? <laughs> what about a web series? Nothing? <laughs> you don't want to work the cafeteria? <laughs> you want to go straight to the top, bitch? What? I'm the, I, well, you know no, women are opportunities. What's she find? You? <laughs> it was fine. Yeah. I said something on myself because you know, because girls start thinking you really are what they think you are, but I'm not. Right. <laughs> I got you. She, you she, was, you she was like, yeah. She it was like, you know, she was like, ask for money, like, you know, we doing our things and other girls. She said she need twelve hundred dollars to pay her rent. I said, let me tell you something. Bitch. You still need it. <laughs> uh, uh, this ain't no twelve hundred dollar dick right here. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is that liquor store dick. You can get anything out this this liquor store. <laughs> you can get On the some, second shelf in the middle. You can get these motherfucking <laughs> exactly. Mike and Ike's. You can get these lemon heads. <laughs> Mike and Ike's. But I, this uh, ain't this ain't that. I'm not that caliber type of dude. This crown like, roll bag. You can you. get that. That's you. But I'm going to keep the crown roll. And she thought I was something that I was. She asked you for 12. She I'm, still need 12. Nigga, she need the whole. She, she I said, uh, no, her expectations were too high. Exactly. I'm not that dude. I know that any day, even coming down here, it can be over for me any day. I, I, like Speedy knows me very well. I'm known for saying the wrong thing in front of network executives. <laughs> I know. He, <laughs> weren't you saying that, that he'd be in, uh, in the board meetings talking about nigga? Yeah, I, Every five I, I told minutes, his executive dude. at a network. I said, "You, don't, I told him you was a motherfucking lie." Oh, and they was like, "What is your full name, sir?" <laughs> Bitch, you lying. <laughs> <laughs> she talked bad about Janet Jackson, and, and she had talked bad about another uh, African American mm-hmm. star. Mm-hmm. I said, "Do you know Janet Jackson?" No, nah, but I've seen you read about on Interline. Bitch, you don't know Janet Jackson. You was a motherfucking on Interline. Interline. <laughs> Online. Interline. That's the internet. No, you said Interline. Interline. <laughs> Hey, Speedy, I, I, know I, I know comedy. You know gravy, I know comedy. You are not trying to learn <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is what I, I tell jokes. This is not. He said you know you gravy. gravy. <laughs> <laughs> you booyah bass sauce have it, motherfucker. Booyah bass. <laughs> I don't. And I told Portis, because I know I love Portis, but Portis be trying to drop. I'm like, hey, don't call me down with these complex fucking <laughs> subjects. <laughs> Simplify for me. Right. Sigma yeah, Freud said to Sigma Freud, I, I'll be bullshitting. I did read it a little bit. But you got to you gotta make it real simple and plain for me to, like, you know, in the writer's room, they, in, in my writer's room, everybody went to college. This one dude went to Duke, but this one girl went to Duke. The other dude went to North Carolina, and Buddy Lewis went to Howard, and Chris Spencer went to UCLA. What about you, Johnny Mac? Nothing. <laughs> I didn't go to college not Richmond one I, day. You didn't go to high Stop school. I, I didn't go to high school. I, I stopped. I, I took a GED test when I was in 15 years old. I'm like, why am I going? I, just, I went to continuation school. I'd be home by 11:30. She, you was like, this is so you didn't go to Richmond High? I had business. I, had, I was busy. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know. So, so they all bragging about their college. Say, hey, nigga, you're in the same room as me. Now, what did it get you? <laughs> <laughs> all that shit. All your student loans you paid out, nigga. Look at this. I'm right here. <laughs> Yeah, and I was eating Popeye's chicken at the same time. Like, hey, how you go, nigga? Now you eat, you working all this school and all these degrees, mm-hmm. and you work with a nigga that got a plate full of Popeyes. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Education is overrated. Education is overrated. Goddamn right. Brooklyn, don't listen to him. Don't you listen to him? Brooklyn, back here writing shit down. Got, my, my, my daughter mom. was out here for the BET Awards, and she, you know, she's getting a chance to go to an Ivy League school that I got to pay for. And she was bragging on it. I said, "Why you didn't go to school? That that ain't none of your business." Why I didn't go to goddamn college? What I did do pay your tuition. You know you got your tuition money? Comedy. I robbed That's it. That's right. Yeah. I did I used to rob it. people at the ATM, but that was a whole different. <laughs> <laughs> so Johnny, are you working on other shows other than the house? I just wrote a pilot for uh, a network. Hopefully, get picked up. It's kind of funny. Uh, I work with who else did this work with? BET Awards, uh, Comedy Central. I see your name. I'll be mm. like, yeah, I'm. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna work for high if uh, if Kill you're looking yourself. for some comedy, you you can call me. Me, uh-huh. not Speedy. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me. I'm actually like, and I was kind of like, when they shitted on me at the at the network when I came in, they were like, so what do you do? Bitch, what do you do? You get water. Now go back and give me some water. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I show up. If you hire me, I show up to your, to your network. I don't even bring a laptop. Mm, you don't just have one. a pen and a pad? I don't bring no pen and pad. That's well, what do you do, John? Like, I give got me it. a pen in the pad. You ain't got shit. Swear to God, you can call Chris Spencer, but I don't. I don't need. I don't. I don't come there with no iPad. Nothing. Johnny, I pay attention. Time. How do you relay your ideas? I got it. Oh, in your head. Kill yourself. Yep. Mm-hmm. You Cause, cause, cause you don't have your. I, I pay attention, nigga. I pay attention. I swear to God. I, like if I'm like when he was doing this right here with his uh. Ter- First of all, your phone is terrible. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say something about that pumpkin phone. orange. You got a six minus two. <laughs> <laughs> they can just upgrade his phone and be happy now. Uh, your phone and upgrade. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Because if you text him, people in, in our society think we can uh, multitask. You really can't. Yeah. You, if I'm doing something, I'm leaving something behind. If I'm if I'm texting, then you can't comment on your joke. You can't get your yeah, joke out. Yeah, yeah. So you really, you know what I'm saying? You're really missing something. And, and the you Bible, there, you focus. I don't. You can call Chris Spencer. I don't need anything. I pay. I know our whole storyline. I know every beat. I know every beat sheet. I know every outline. I for some. I don't try to make it a science. And I, I'm gonna give the blessings to God because God blessed me with this. Yeah. I just and keep. Possible. I just simplify. I just know how to write these TV shows and these movies. You're and you ain't went to school. I ain't, ain't never took a road class road and nothing. Cl- and right where they at? I ain't Eat, never took a class. Uh, Popeye's chicken. 
A vision is in a future. I walked out this morning, ran three and a half miles. When I finished, I went right down to Popeye's, got me a two-piece biscuit. I don't eat the biscuit. I eat the uh, red beans and rice and the fries and jalapeno pepper. Boom. And what, look at what's that. up? That's right. Just flex. <laughs> you can't flex with your Popeyes ponytail. Popeyes is a dietary. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with eating Popeyes chicken. You can do it. Johnny Mac, you can't flex with your ponytail over your breast. <laughs> you got to flip the ponytail, then flex. Oh, if it's over there. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes I think I'm tough. Like, let me tell you something, nigga. I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> beat you. <laughs> beat your ass, nigga. <laughs> This goddamn scrunchie together, boy. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have my way with you. Who got a scrunchie in here? I can have my way with you. Make sure you watch Real Husbands August 18th. Cause now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna educate black people. Cause a lot of us record it, DVR, mm -hmm. TV, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever, and we we record it. If you don't watch it in three days, we don't get the numbers. Oh, oh damn. Okay. okay. See, they don't, you, you know. knew that. Who said? The, who said yes? I said that on, on the show. <laughs> they, don't, they don't tell us that Because like you know A lot of right. people be doing What they gotta I do I record so. it And just watch it later Yeah If you don't do it In the first three days We don't get those numbers How do wow. they know You're watching uh, How they know You're sitting in this chair <laughs> <laughs> Shit they know got that cell phone They know They got that cell phone you know, they, they know where you are They know who's watching I mean the Nelson's ratings, ratings Has been gone I mean they, mm. they know They know when you Turn your TV on They know everything about it Wow That's their job Wow mm -hmm. so, so watch Real well, Husbands August 18th Give me information Johnny that? Give me information what the August eighteenth? Yeah, yeah. Where well, I'll be watching. I love that Thank show. You, so you guys are yes. so good. Yeah. The chemistry is good on that yeah. show. It's, it's just me. Where could people follow you, Johnny? For what? Really, you really can't. Exactly. I, <laughs> I mean, I got all the I got all the home. social media shit, but I really don't get on it. And mm -hmm. I, I don't. I don't. I think I got like fifteen pictures on Instagram. I ain't been on my Facebook page since like 2011, since 2010. Black because Planet. you work it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I right. tell people, like, you know, exactly. I don't have the time to be on there when you're working. When you got your hustle on, you ain't got time to be on the social network. So you can you bit. can actually just like make sure you watch Real Husbands. And his, I'm going to shock you. I know you got to move on. I don't have a resume. I've never submitted myself for any work. Shit. <laughs> they call yeah. me. That's how good you are, huh, Johnny? Nope. They call me. Mm. Shut up, Donnie. I swear to God. You're the fucking worst. Swear to God. I can let me I believe him. You can't say that to a, <laughs> Listen. You ain't gonna find... They call me. You can't say that to a publicist because they want everything, right? I don't need no publicist. <laughs> That's it. Uh, yeah, they Don, just call me. Donnie Mike don't get Tell them how to reach you, though. Uh, Contagious on all the social media. I'm on there, even in the show, on my iPhone 6. First of all, that name is terrible. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. The ponytails are terrible. Contagious, K-E-N-T-E-G-I-O-U-S. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, yeah, nigga. that's a college word. <laughs> yeah, go on, leave it alone, Johnny. <laughs> I, see the shape, I see the shape of your head. <laughs> yeah, I know, because you can see mine. <laughs> Look like somebody tried to line a bike helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking with the Stevie Wonder line over here talking about me. I'm just saying. <laughs> you ain't going to win this. How did he reach you, baby girl? You are oh, dark well, skin. You're, you're pretty. I always say, thank you. I always say, Google me. Just Silky D. Just Silky D. Silky, Silky D. Silky D. Lady you should change the name to Smooth Dark Liquor. <laughs> <laughs> no, pun, no pun intended with no. the liquor. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I'm looking at you. I'm just thinking like, you know, a double shot of Hennessy. What? Man, you could be. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Know, you know, nice, some nice yeah, little designer sure babies. Lady Next thing you hear. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Yeah. Go. One such. I see what? One such queen mm, on Instagram. It strong. hits everything it's up. It's too strong. You'll scare people. You'll <laughs> scare one people. Such queen. You want to put the you a king? In the bathrobe on You're not place. a king? Yeah. Dark liquor? Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I ain't no goddamn Boy, king. One Richie. such queen on Instagram. <laughs> Lady Like Entertainment. Definitely hit up <laughs> WW World Peace Now Forever because I will be there in Compton in the city, the CPT. See, Definitely um, to represent peace, especially uh. the week before the NWA movie and all this hype. Don't get caught up in the hype. Support the hey, movie. that movie's gonna make a lot oh of money. God, yes, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm looking forward to it. I, don't know I was around that. around that time. But they're Boy, is you gonna take Speedy? Is you, you get two tickets? You'll take um, Speedy. I'm actually gonna <laughs> take Nikki Pam to the premiere, but we're going to the screening tonight. Uh, no, 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 you can't do them both. No, the, the premiere is. You, you got to go to the premiere. Trust I'm me. I'm going to the you gotta premiere. Get, but if you see the screen, then you ain't going to. I can see. I'm going to the screening, the premiere, and I'm going to buy a ticket to see the movie. So I'm, I'm going to the premiere. About. That's I got to see the movie like nine times. I got a gang of bitches. And I got to. <laughs> I got all of that like, oh my God, I didn't know this movie was out. You got to do that for fucking nine days. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. They got to, come on, man. What, what, what about me? 
<laughs> what about me? Poetess go. That's, That's 3150 a trip. What about me? You can find me at OG Poetess on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Oh and Johnny Mac, I'm so glad to I see bet you. you I, miss call, you so I bet you won't call me back in no more. Shit, we need you back. <laughs> yeah, we will. We will. I mean, you got to come yeah. kick it with us at least once a month, Johnny. Johnny Mac, we're also going to no Hawaii. No way. For, uh, I, go, for, I, uh, I can do that. We're going, there. I can do that. we're going there for Pro Bowl weekend. Yeah, it's a bad time. No, no, Pro Bowl weekend is a great time for you, Johnny. We're going to be in Hawaii. Go also to hurricane season. Go to youplanipack.com. Uh, go you to pack, you plan. <laughs> you pack, I plan. Dot com. <laughs> somebody planning, somebody packing. Yeah. Dot com. You plan, I pack, dot com. Go there, uh, put in the uh, our thing rollout, and you'll get a special discount. And uh, y'all should take me. It's like there's three of y'all on the regular, right? Well, we're going to be doing a radio show there. We got a comedy show. You want to get down, Johnny? You, you got to put me down, Speedy. Johnny, you want to go? I got I got material. All right, Johnny Max going to be there yes, in the yes, building. Can I get a hot seven on stage? I'll give you a hot seven if you promise Ooh. to go. I, I don't mind. You want to meet Speedy, Johnny Mac? You gonna be I'm there, in there Speedy? I'm there in Hawaii. All your fans gonna. Now I'm the only Hawaii. nigga out there with sweats on because his legs. <laughs> he can't show his legs. <laughs> he can't show my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Those motherfuckers is pure white. I thought it was cocaine knees. <laughs> I, I went to Hawaii. I went to Hawaii. It's my last time. I went to Hawaii for uh, some vacation, whatever. And then, and the girl I was with tricked me to go swimming with the dolphins. I can't swim. Mm. No, okay. The motherfucking dolphins are racist. Mm. <laughs> they kept bumping into me. The dude went through they, my they were legs. They're trying to meet you, John. I can't swim. You knew that before you got in there with the dolphins. I, and I didn't, you know, I'm too cool to put the floaties on. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like fucking scared. And then the dude, the, the dolphin kept hitting me on the hip. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then he raised his head out of water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh-uh. It was so bad, Portis, that the dude had to come out and, and grab my hands to bring me back in. Because mm. I couldn't move. <laughs> what did the dolphin say again? Nigga, 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 nigga. Nigga, I told him I want my $125 back. Mm, mm, mm. And then so, the girl like, why you this? Bitch, I can't swim. So Johnny Mac will be with us in Hawaii Sweats. for the Pro Bowl weekend. Sweats on. We'll be out there along with a very talented singer, uh, no one, uh, Noel uh, Gordine. Gordine will be performing as well. You check on we your son? Is, is, you gave him some cough syrup? He's laying down in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Brooklyn, get up. You don't know how clean that floor is, boy. He's trying to rewire the place. <laughs> and uh, don't forget the game this Saturday. Uh, we're doing the celebrity softball game at Score Compton four. Community Basketball College game. Central. I'm going to score 40. El Camino College. All that stuff goes together. Score 40. Get it together. It's Compton Community, Community Center. Center. At El Camino right. College in Compton. No, don't say at El Camino because people will probably go down to the El Camino College. That's what he called it. You know. It's, no, it, it's it the is, Compton. It it's is the Compton, El Camino girl. Compton College okay. Community Center. We need to put that first. That's too many Hopefully names. They will, I, I got On you. The sign Hopefully is the they El will change College. it to just Compton College Community Center. So They're not because it was figures. Compton College first and they changed yeah, it. Was we got to rap. Oh, you know we got to rap. <laughs> got to rap. It's been a great day. Thank All you all right. for listening. Friday, we'll be back. See you Friday Freaky with Friday. music. Yeah. That's right. Oh, Even wow. if we got to call Silky. That's right. I'm there. You got it. All right. We out. Thank you all.